are live. We're good. We are live. We are live. All right. All right. All right. All right. Tweet it ever. Tweet it out. Okay. Last show of the year. Yes, God. it is. Thank God. The end is near. And look at us. My Twitter is weird now. I, I like uh, uh, did, did Musk change something again? Or Musk something? changes. I feel like he changed a lot of stuff that we just don't know about. You know what I'm talking about? Or yeah. No? Yeah. Like what? Your timeline. You're not seeing stuff that you yeah. normally would have seen. Yeah. Same with me. Yeah. Anyway, why did you think that we would have like a full list of everyone attending the Wilbur show and your name to be on it? <laughs> like, well, how would that have worked exactly? <laughs> I maybe it was the alphabetical list. He'd be like, "All right, Chris of, is of on the list." Thousands of people who were at the show, and then like we, sh I should be like, "Really, don't come." I was gonna say something at the mini golf too. I'm like, "Should I go?" And then you, you said something at the mini golf. I thought that was pretty warm at the mini golf. You, that was the thing. It was like you were kind of cold, but kind of warm. So I didn't really know what to do. I was not very warm. No, a couple of times I was like, "Hey, you like nice round." You're like, "Yeah, thanks, Chris." Like you weren't. No, no I didn't. You did. I swear to God, maybe you slipped. I'd not say yeah, thanks, Chris. You did. I didn't. You did. I swear to God. It might have been like this. Say nice round. Oh, Kirk, yeah, I shot nice round, huh? Yeah, thanks, Chris. No, you. That's no, you did. I think you slipped. That is the. That is what you wanted to say. There's, there's no way that happened. No way that just like old times. Do you understand that, Dave, or no? Yeah, I think he. The list thing. The the remember uh, the Wilbur. Oh yeah, 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 I didn't yeah. understand that. Like I, that was a tremendous moment where Clemmer got kicked out, walked back out, and people just booed the fuck out of him as he walked. <laughs> I know like, that was a great thirty <laughs> seconds. Yeah, it was something. <laughs> That's what the show is all. That was really, good. That's that great. Yeah, that was something. That was fun. Ah, <laughs> uh, so anyway, Chris Clemmer is here as he's been many times in twenty twenty two. As a matter of fact, yes, second most I would say after Mike Geary. Absolutely. So far, there's only one way to end the year with our you know our old pal Chris Clemmer. Well, look, we've had a falling out. Uh, uh, but I have thought over the things that have happened to the company the last week or two. I do think Chris is a good guy who I think messed up. Um, but it, it, when I think about the whole thing, we can talk about it. Ultimately, Dave asked me, should, should Chris work here? I said, yes. I just don't like, as you know, the way you handle things around here on the way out. I think you kind of turned your back on the show, on the Minifans. And I think you were probably nervous about everything, as I know you can be. And then there was a basketball game like three days later or something. I okay. Did so, you go to the game last night? I did not. <laughs> I did not. The Celtics play last night. They right? did. Yeah. It was an yeah. NBA Finals game. Did, though, did so. they win or no? I don't even know. That would have no, been an unbelievable right. move if he went to the game but last night. Yeah. That would have been unbelievable. I wouldn't be like. Buddy was in town. I was. Right? Yeah, I was coming from New York. Well, well, first of all, let me. Nick and KB were telling me that you travel some seven hours a day. <laughs> I think they're exaggerating a little bit. It's about. Uh, Where do you live? I mean, you don't have to get the address, but yeah, right now we are in Patchogue, but it's a. It's an Airbnb, like a long-term Airbnb. So if we're going to live in New York permanently, we live closer to the city. So you're, okay, so your wife is, commuter to Laura, is living with you in New York. Correct. So you still have the estate in New Hampshire. No, we sold it. You sold it? Yeah. For this job? For this job. <laughs> it was time to sell. Hey, I, I'm glad we sold that that's and not now. We, we could sell in five years yeah. maybe, though. You might, might have been okay, oh, but that's true. Market's hot. Low inventory. Smart play. You think so? Yeah, definitely. Okay, yeah, people are gobbling up... Uh, <laughs> Uh, crack houses in Arkansas. Might be I know that. a little bit, but it is what it is. That's true. Anyway, yeah. sorry. So, so you sold your place. So you're yep. in, you're an Airbnb right now in Patchog. Yep. Right. Okay. So you're taking that. Uh, but we're going to be somewhere take, like we're somewhere different next month. You're taking that commuter rail or whatever. The Long Island Railroad. Yeah. L I R R in every day. Mm -hmm. How long is that door to door? It's like an hour twenty. On the train. On the train. And then you have to walk from there, which is not long. Oh, it's like a, I can get there in like four minutes. From so it's a about a three hour round trip. Yes. Jesus Christ. But you I don't mind. Work, you can work on the train at least. I don't. Yeah, I, I sleep on can the way. Sit there and blog. I sleep. I, well, it's, you don't have internet access. So you can't really. I mean, you know I, what I'm uh, saying just to just to go in that office and just blog, and then you turn around, and you go back. It's, it's more than that. Like it's not just blogging. You're doing other stuff too. Like you're doing like Snapchat takes, or I know it sounds oh, kind of goofy. Tell me more. But. What else goes on at the bar stool? <laughs> tell me more about it. I'm just saying wow. there is other things what you're else? doing. What else? There's, there is other things you're People doing. The hands and knees begging me to go to the Super Bowl. <laughs> I am bar stool. Oh, anyway, oh wow! Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> it's exciting. Go ahead. Go ahead. So, uh, so yeah. So go ahead. The what were we saying there? Nothing. No, about the oh, about the how it all ended. Do you want to get that out of the way now, or do you want to do yeah, something? Why not? Else Let's do it. Okay. Let's do it. Oh, I think I, the only thing about the list specifically was we got a list of VIP attendees. I thought that's what he kind of meant. But he did you stay for the show? I, I was on the VIP. We were on the VIP list. Did you stay for the show? I, remember. I did. You did stay for the show. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, Dave asked me to. Dave said you can't leave now. It'll be a thing. That's correct. Yeah, I think I said that to you, right? Correct. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So yes. I said I'll stay. I thought the second show, it was the second show, right? Yep. It was better than the first show, I thought. Yes. It's a good show. It was a great, now, yeah. I just, I, now maybe this is me being, because I do stupid shit all the time. You sure do. <laughs> but maybe do I. You, do you hate me? No. Oh. There's a part of me that, there's a part of me that was really angry at you. Yeah. There's a part of me that kind of loves you. Yeah. 
Uh, so why don't you embrace that first half? I don't want to be loved. <laughs> by you. Don't love me, please. I mean, like you, you did give me COVID. I mean, there's also I that. did not give you COVID. You, de- you I definitely did not. You definitely did gave not. Me COVID. You got COVID first. You gave me COVID. I don't think so. Anyway, uh, you go ahead. Um. So I just, I just want. I'm like, oh, I just want to go see because I love seeing your live shows. I but you it. must have, you must have knew, known intellectually there's going to be some resistance. Um, I didn't think like, there was not a lot. Of I warm, never thought you'd care that there much. There was not a lot of warm feelings coming from this world to you at that at that period of time uh, it was still pretty early and that's they're really am i wrong Dave, or no yeah I there definitely it, was not I, there was de- there definitely was I, yeah. it, it definitely no, shifted no. after that no no go ahead Dave, no, at least yeah, might. i, I yeah, agree yeah, with yeah. him there it definitely got worse after the wilbur that's but true. i think the temperature was still pretty cold at that point and going into the wilbur that's a small venue it's it did kind of just being honest it felt like a look at me type of thing absolutely yeah from it, our end it, it wasn't meant i mean i came from new york to go see the show like i wouldn't have come from new york to go like look at me like that's yeah. weird yeah, I, yeah. I just went because i love seeing the show you I've been wanting to go see this show and I went, I knew I would, obviously I knew that you walk in there, obviously I'm going to get some reaction, but I didn't go there for that. I don't, I don't do shit like that. Were you surprised you got booed or no? No, 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 no. But it's like, it was like that. I felt more like playful booing. Like you having, it's kind right. of fun. Where like after was that, that <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't, I don't, like I was going to shoot him. I mean, you I, know, I feel like that guy wasn't there. Who's the guy who's going to shoot the place up? A uh, bulb. He wasn't there. I don't think, was he? Or was he? I don't believe so. Yeah. No. Anyways, yeah. go ahead. I, I guess it, after that, it seemed like, oh no, like we really just don't like this guy now. After well, that. I just don't like, I just don't like the way you know that I've, I, I've talked to you about this. I'm sure you've heard the show. If you listen to the show, I, I just said, you know, like I didn't like the way that you did that Celtics thing. And then you just kind of floated away and sort of turned your back on us. Okay. So I agree and disagree. I, okay, that's fine. Uh, the Celtics thing. Um, if I had like a time machine, I go back and, and change that. Like the last thing I want to do is like, seem like I'm unappreciative. Mm-hmm. Like that well, yeah, sucks. But, yeah, and like, yeah. I can understand from your, I didn't certainly didn't have that mindset going in. I shouldn't, I certainly should have like firmed up my, cause I'm the one that brought it up on the show. Like, cause you guys had me come in early for that Thursday cause of Carano's podcast dropped. And I just found out about it. Oh, that's right. That, he doesn't do that anymore. Right. I don't believe. No, so. no, he hasn't what, done it. Much. How's he doing? Good. He's in Florida now. Oh, he's down there full time. Yeah. Doing what? Uh, I think he's doing like crypto stuff. Oh, like, that's good. That should, um, it's going well. Like marketing, but like he does like mark. He's he's really good at that. Like yeah. he's he's great at that. So is he out of the content game for good? Why? I, w- I don't think for good. Oh. I don't know what he. I don't know anything he has to play. Is he boom uh, hiss and get a load of this? I'm gonna listen to. I don't follow him on Twitter. Is he on active on Twitter or no? I think he does like yes. he'll like interact crypto with like stuff. crypto stuff. Oh, okay. So he's he's removed and like himself. libertarian stuff. Yeah, yeah, he's removed himself from everything. Pretty much. Pretty much. He, he's into that. Yeah, crypto and Elon stuff. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So go ahead. I'm sorry. Um. So like, yeah. So the last thing I want to do is appear unappreciative, and I should have firmed up my plans before I ever brought up in the show. But I came in early, and I didn't. Stupid me. I didn't think that it would be like it would come off that way. But looking back on it from your perspective, I can see that. So that's one thing where like. I'm like, I'm sorry. And like, I think the reaction to that is over the top, but also the opportunity I got was over the top. So like everything's heightened. The Barstool opportunity or the show? The Barstool, both. Yeah. I mean, well, both I mean, are ridiculous. The same. I mean, they're it's the just, same thing, right? It's ridiculous. Well, yeah. like, well, but like I said, when you, when, when you got the chance, you know, Portnoy reached out to me and says, give me an issue. I said, no, you should hire if you, if you think he's going to do a good job, hire him. So, I mean, like, I, you know, but I, I just felt like there was during the idol thing, I have to go back and listen. It felt like there was a distance being built by you toward them in the fans. I think that's wrong. I was okay. only I was only there for two days. The first the intro video was all about KMS and my time here. Right. Um, I think you even like you texted something very kind to me after I almost lost the the wheel. Yeah. Um. So like I don't but I don't know were, like I think the distance between the minute fan. But you really got the job anyway. I mean, you didn't win the thing. I eighth place. Right. Yeah. 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 Uh. But like, maybe I'm wrong. But I felt when you were doing the turn back in the minute fans, you were you were try to tell the minute fans like fuck with this guy probably i don't know yeah that may be true <laughs> but did they really or no oh like you just get tweets usual stuff just like you know it's like oh the only thing that kind of sucks is like some of these people were tweeting me it's like oh i had you know i was friendly with you we've hung out before so that kind of sucked yeah like who um like shank fight club that's tough yeah when uh, you lose him that's, that's <laughs> no, but he's someone that's, I no it's got, tough no I, shank fight club's a tough loss no but like we, I had gone out to dinner with him a couple of times. That's your own problem. <laughs> you shouldn't be. But it's like, oh, why does this guy hate me now, or whatever, you know, like, or just like, you know, people like that. It's like, oh, this kind of sucks. This guy doesn't like me now. Like, I liked him. I thought he was like a friend or right. like someone I, you know. So that was the, the only difference. Yeah, but if like some stranger saying like, "Fuck you, Chris," I hate you. It's like, oh, all right, well. Critics have said, not me, that your run so far at Barstool has been underwhelming. I've argued them, 
uh, almost to the death because I don't think that's true. Yeah, I've heard that. Yeah, that you, 90s movies list like like you read about. That's right. Uh, I have a show coming out next month. Oh, is that right? I next, do. Next month. Okay. Is this the sports movie podcast or no? It is. It is. With co-hosting with Brandon Walker? That's right. Wow. What's the so name you of knew, it? So you, you know, you come on, you, you know, I, I, I knew you knew I know, that. I know so, everything. I know you do. So then why do you say I'm not doing anything? Well, that's not doing anything. I could just do that tomorrow. It'd be great. No, that's not true. I could do a sports you movie podcast. You would probably be very good, but like, why is that? That's still doing something. You've been there for like nine months. I've been there for five months. And you're, and you're announcing a podcast five months in? What, what have you been doing? Oh, I, have, you been, have you been like, shoot, you've been bringing like Burt Lancaster back from the dead to interview him about Field of Dreams? Like, that's the sixth like, episode. This seems like a tremendous amount of work for a sports podcast that'll be on for two months, maybe. Number no, one, we number already one have blog four. on Barstool this morning, though. Oh, is that right? What's it yeah. about? Uh, the NFL deal, right? Yeah. yeah. yeah what? The yeah, Sunday tickets go into YouTube. Oh, yeah. Yeah, who cares? Um, but yeah, people. I guess some people do. Sure, um, everyone's talking about it. Go ahead. <laughs> guy, guy tackled me on the way in here. Today. <laughs> Couldn't believe it. Compared to my other box, it's doing pretty well. well. No kidding. Go ahead. Uh, no, we've done four episodes already. They're in the can. We kind of put it on pause because Brandon was busy with college football stuff. So, like, what? What? What is it? What's the name of it? Uh, I don't. We, I'm not going to say that now because we're still working on getting the socials. Wait, the socials aren't like I'm waiting for some tech stuff I mean, in the back. Text Brandon, he'll tell me. So I mean, what, I know, but I don't. I, we don't have the socials lined up yet for it. You think someone's going to steal them? I don't know. I don't know what's happening. What's the first name of the of, of it? How's that? Uh, no, I'm not going to say it either. What's, I'll, what's, I'll, we're going to announce it next. Just next. give me a structure. But I, I, it's a sports movie I'm, podcast. I'm not going to care then. So like, what's the, uh, what's an episode like? Oh, it's uh, Brandon and I talking, being critical about different sports movies, uh, talking about kind of behind the scenes stuff. Mm -hmm. Also, just if we don't like it, we shit on it. If we do like it, obviously we're singing its praises. Who's the host of it? It me and Brandon together. It's like Cisco and Ebert. Okay. Hopefully. Because Forrest Mars was allergic to peanuts. What a <laughs> moment that was. That's pretty exciting. Only got, how many days left of this thing? Nine? Yeah, Eight? yeah, yeah. I had a, it was tough seeing a movie last night because I had to What did you go ride, see? But, um, oh, you didn't see anything last night? No, I didn't. No? How many movies have you seen since you've been in a bar? Do you go at all or no? I think I've seen like four in the theater since, yeah. since I got COVID. Okay, okay. Does it feel weird now? Do you, do you go back ever and listen or no? Go back, no, I don't no, go back to the back listen. No, it does. It, I sometimes though, I do think to myself, like, wow, like eight months ago, whatever, I was seeing a movie every day. That's very strange. It feels eight like down 357 to go. <laughs> it's crazy that that existed. <laughs> it's wild. Um, let me see here. I have uh, I have questions from, from some fans if you want to answer them. Sure. Okay. Uh, you have been known to recycle bits from KMS and blogs and guest spots on the Yak. Why do that? I don't think I recycle bits. If it's about like my life, I can talk about it somewhere else. Like the Monkey Boy stuff. I know that was like, you talk about that on KMS. It's like, well, yeah, it happened. It was like two years of my life. Okay. Who is the biggest asshole in, in Barstool in New York? Oh, oh my God. It was 100% Rico until recently. Um, You're talking about Terrence Mayrose. No. Uh, I believe so. Yeah, yeah. Is that yes. his name? Yes. Am I wrong? Yes. I've never. I've only known him as Rico. You think his name is Rico Bosco? <laughs> <laughs> I've only addressed him I've as that. I've decided. I've only been introduced I've, to him as I've that. I've decided I'm going to be the guy who breaks him. By the way. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I okay. Yeah, assignment mine. So assignment accepted. Can I, I bizarrely? Can I defend him for a second? Sure. He does. Since the cons thing happened, he what, does. What was the cons thing? He since he did what? He. Uh, sent nasty tweets to Khan's wife. From the Rico Bosco account? I think it was a burner. You're right, it was a burner. Yeah. So since he's done that, and then what happened in between that and since Terrence has been sincere, what has happened in the interim? He left to go to Odyssey for okay. something he didn't have a written offer about. Odyssey is which company? Uh, well, it's BetQL. For, but formerly what? Formerly Intercom, of course. Okay, yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, he What's that? That's a, that's a bad company. That's a good basketball game. So Terrence Mayrose. Can I take a time out there and... Puts, I have a question for you then. I'm surprised yeah. no one's asked you on the show. Yeah. So you were talking to Rico for months. He said he's going to Odyssey and you didn't lose your shit. I told him it was the craziest thing he was ever going to do. But well, Ever. What was I going to do? Uh, I, he's not my son. Like, you kept talking. I thought, like, I'm surprised you kept talking to him after that. But he's not my son. Like, if he wants to go there, I kept saying to him, this is a huge, I like him. I'm like, I'm telling you, this is a huge mistake. I don't care if you're going to make $26,000 more. If you do it, you're nuts. And he kept saying, yeah. But the thing is, he kept saying, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. And then finally, at the end, he's like, yeah, I'm going there. I was like, good luck. You're fucking crazy. You're fucking crazy. And really, I haven't talked to him since. 
But even the fact that he was in discussions at all with them, I, I didn't make you like, lose your shit. Him to know like what happened with Bob Murray. Like, what am I gonna, what am I gonna do? Like, not, never talk to him again because he's gonna go to the like. Eh, that's why? that why? would be the expectation. He's not, I think, yes. he's not really my friend. Not really. No, but he kept up like basically. Yeah, he but it was but it wasn't like on you. But it wasn't like if Chris said that while he was here, even yeah. then I'd be like, all right, I think you're fucking nuts. But yeah. it's a chance to make money to make a living. You're gonna fucking regret it. Yeah. You know, it's, it, what am I supposed okay. to do? No, like, I think yeah. that's level-headed. I'm surprised. Yeah. I'm just shocked to hear that from you about. I think, he's, I think he's a total piece of shit, like a total piece of shit. What he did to cons, I don't, I don't, I like cons. I don't know him that well. It's psycho behavior. It's fine. He's working there. I don't want him to lose his job. I hope he, I hope uh, uh, team A keeps working there and does whatever he has to do. Uh, but I'm not going to sit here and pretend he doesn't have a real name when he's when he's going after. People. Like I've had to deal with this in real life. And I'm not gonna have some guy work here and like offer him like Dan and Dave. That listen to Barstow pick him this morning. The two mm-hmm. of them are fucking pathetic. Was that a Netflix movie a couple of years ago with Jonathan Price and Anthony Hopkins? The two popes. Yeah, that's who they are. The two popes keep moving this guy, this pervert around, this priest, this pedophile priest, and making these rules for him. It's fucking crazy. And those guys are my friends. I love those guys, but they're out of their fucking minds. Like their hearts in the right place. But fuck this piece of shit. Who I've, who I've also been. Lately been like, oh, I, I got a realization I was running this morning. I'm like, why am I defending this guy? He's a nice guy. Isn't he? No, he's not. He's not. Like, what the fuck are we doing? Like, it, he should still work there. Again, like, they should have assholes and lunatics. And you're right. It's all one big crazy world. And keep him in it. But holy fuck. I'm listening to Hank Lockwood defend him. Oof. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. That cuck. Yeah. He was so pathetic. I, I, I wanted to fuck Marty Mush after listening to that. <laughs> Good God almighty. Jesus. Okay, so the defense of that, and I will say from just... Do you think if Rico hadn't been caught, he would be doing this? No. Okay, go ahead. No, no, not at all. Um, but but he hated you. Oh, he was awful to and me. It's all because of me, right? Uh, I get... No, well, actually, before that, he blocked me uh, two months before I stopped doing this show because I, Justin Trudell, told Rico that <laughs> that I once did a Quantum Week podcast with Jeff Nadu. You are, to be clear, let's set the record straight. You were born longer ago than Justin Trudeau. Correct. Okay. You I am older, older than, than he is. I think so. I haven't seen his birth certificate. Okay. You, you keep comparing uh, yourself to, you're like, oh, you're on the same level. We're not on the same level, Justin. Colleen is on it today. He is, right? He's just sharp. He is. Chris is just, he's a treasure trove. Of all Breaking the out the hits. Yeah. Yeah. Look how you love, you love Chris all of a sudden, huh? I've always, I've been a Chris oh, guy. Oh, oh, really? Wow. Yeah. Uh, gonna, I, I have listened to the show in the, in oh, the intern day. I mean, I'm fine. Are you the Clemmers missed an episode? I'm a Chris guy on the personal level, for sure. Yeah. Well, I haven't heard... This isn't, this isn't New Day. I haven't heard much of that the last six months. Well, what are we going to do? I mean, I think that stuff he What are we going to do? Show, you could have told me that. What? The, on the show, I think his yeah. actions, I agree with you. I think he kind of used the show. I think the way he went out. How did I use the show? That's one thing I actually disagree with. Well, how'd you get on there? Because of you. Right. Well, I mean, you, I, don't, I don't blame I didn't you for, use that. I, I didn't, blame, I don't blame well, you, just, you, you just, for that. You just bragged about like your uh, your promo video for Barstow Wide. KMS was bragged all over it. that. Yeah, you were just saying, I used KMS on my promo yeah, of video you for did. Barstow Wide. Why, why, but, but I mean, why but wouldn't but you? I didn't, but I would never. Kirk went to New York to do the dozen. He texted me while he was there and says, you should do Barstow Idol. I said, okay. Of course. So yeah. I don't, how, but, did, but, I, but, how but, did I use the but, show? But, you, but that's exactly, of course you used the show that once you were there to, uh, you put in your video. I mean, you, yeah, of course you what did. I mean, like he's still using the show. That's I, mean, I don't even think that's a bad thing. I don't know. Like, I, mean, I, I guess, the, I guess it's, I guess it's semantics, but like how you use course. the word use, but like, uh, it makes it sound like this was also like master plan. I created in the laboratory. I'm going to get on Barstool because I like the no, Kirk Minahan no, 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 show I, in I, I don't think I actually come in here two years ago or whatever that you thought you'd be on Barstool. I don't mean, think, I don't think that anyway, Rico. Uh, yeah, okay. So, uh, so Rico was like, he, so I sit not far from Casey. Yes. He would come over and talk to Casey and like intentionally like turn his back to me. If I said something, he would like scoff at it. Like I just said like the dumbest thing. Ever. Like it was just shitty to be in that environment with him. Like you're just trying to work and this guy's being a complete asshole. Right. The cons things happen. The cons things happens. Excuse me. And I, I see a different person now. Now, uh, Jeff Nadu, he went to the office last week. Uh, he saw Rico. He said the same thing to me. He does seem genuinely like different, mm-hmm. but it's also only been a week. He's only doing it because of what happened. I get all that, but like, who the fuck am I not to give someone a second chance? Kind of thing. Like, well, I, I, yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't know. like I said, I don't want to fire, but like, I just I would never communicate with anybody that to somebody a co-worker ever under i just because stuff has happened to me i just have no i just have personally have no interest in it like you yeah. can everybody can but to me it's like stay away from my business i'll stay away from yours i want you to have a job like i don't want barstool to fire anybody if they can help it but like to me it's just like i, I just did just say you're gonna break the guy so 
Yeah, and I can. I'm I'm not denying <laughs> that you can or can't, but I'm saying that like you're like, oh, you do oh, your business, I'll do but mine. That's, but, that's, but that's part of my business. All right. And that's all he ever wanted to do. Like all the time. Like yep. why why are the rules I listened to him on this I listened to the pick'em thing this morning. I don't know if you did or not. I did. But all it is is like they lay these things out. And then Rico's like, Well, I think that's really fair. Like I'm trying to go through it. like, well, was it fair when you do it to everybody else? Like, even people like you or, or or cons or you know, making up accounts. Like now we have to have different rules for Rico Bosco because he got busted now like like now we're treating him different than Rico treated people? Like why? Or, or, why? Because Rico's going through some stuff and we need to help him get through it. Well, he didn't try to help out. He didn't know what cons was going through or these other people. God knows who else he was doing this to. It's the one person we know about. So, like, I don't know why the rules would be different. These I, are also I, your words directly, if he's listening, directly potentially to him. This isn't you making up a fake account somewhere. Of course. Sending it to somebody of course. Else. Like, of course. This is direct. To me, so. I'm doing the favor. This is a test. Like, you know, let's see if he could pass it. You know, his name is Terrence Mayrose. Why are we hiding that? He didn't hide anything else from anybody. He was happy to go after people and expose them and go after them. Why are we hiding, like, pretending he's a mafia guy? Like, you're, you're a fucking fat, stupid 30-year-old. You has, played along with the mafia thing oh, for yeah, a long like, time, though. Yeah, it's a joke, thing. but now it's like, but, like, it's not a joke once he does stuff like this. No, that's, that's, not, it's not. I mean, you know, I, I, it's great. The cons is, like, you know, that's great. And I'm, I'm, I hope Rico does well at the company, honestly, because I, I think, and I, I appreciate what Dave and Dan are trying to do. But it's like, this guy fucked with this guy forever, and Dan and Dave Solutions have him wear a t-shirt for a month. I'm like, oh, okay, great. That's I took the liberty of creating a shirt that mimics the, is Hank a troll? I, I showed it, so I'm sure you've seen it. <laughs> Come on. And Terrence is a scumbag. I had uh, 10 of them made so that you don't have to worry about laundry. Now, because I actually am still sort of like fucked up way, like him, we are going through the holiday season. I don't want to see his loved ones being forced to see him wear that around. Mm -hmm. These are the kids, by the way, who he would call me and the kids were in the back seat while he was shitting all over Dan and Dave. And call after call during this endless contract and call after call where I was like, get me off this fucking phone. Who gives a shit about a t-shirt? Like, That's what I'm saying. Like, like a oh, a t <laughs> Wow. So he shits on cons, really fucks with this guy, like fucks with his wife who doesn't even, doesn't even content. And like the punishment is you have to wear a t-shirt. Like what? what? Punishment? Like if we're going to do a punishment, like you should do a real punishment. Fucking enlist in the army or something. Cons and fucking uh, 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 chap should fucking put him in Afghanistan for like a year or something. I don't even, I don't even understand what the punishment is. But what you would know? you realistically do then? Like, obviously, you think the T-shirt's st stupid. But like, what would you do, though, if you were in Dan and Dave's spot? Um, Like, to humiliate him? Like, in I don't response? know, but like, what, what, you're what, saying you don't want what, to, what, he, he should have a that, job. That's obviously, like, obviously the intent is to humiliate him with the T-shirt. Right? Correct. Um, what are the boundaries here? Like in, in real life, like what are the boundaries here? Like why what is this you, a, a Dan and Dave even like decision per se? Like what when well, does they, the reality two biggest guys in the world? They're when in does charge. The reality show go a little too far and maybe like uh, you know well, a, my a, map, a but department but no, that's no, in charge well, of the So Dave said today he's like this is a reality show, da da da. But if it's a reality show, why are we protecting Rico and his feelings and not mm -hmm. protecting everyone else? Like if it's a reality show, it's a reality show for everybody. Yeah. To me, a T-shirt does not does not fit the crime if we're going to treat this like a reality show. There are departments at companies that protect the employees, don't you think? No, I understand that, but yeah. this isn't that company. It's just not that company. Yeah. Like it's, It just isn't that company, and I, and I totally get that. Um, I don't know. So one thing that did kind of like... Make, I, to, I would have to think about that. ...make yeah. me kind of tilt my head a little bit was... So I think we all agree in this room that the T-shirt is not a, really that severe of a punishment. It's not a punishment at all. They and, make money and, off it. And Rico didn't want to do it. No, right. no. Of I was like, what are you doing? Yeah, then he gets this whole sad routine where he's like, yeah, I don't think that's really fair because you know, <laughs> if I'm an alcoholic, you, well, you're not and you were an asshole to a bunch of people. It's a miracle you have this job. You never had an offer from Odyssey ever. You made it up. It never happened. And then you come crawling back and like, it's like, well, and, and I get there taking them back. That's fine. So I don't, I don't, I don't know what the punishment is, but it's sure not to wear a t-shirt. I think he actually thought he had that offer. I disagree with you on that. He didn't have a physical. No, offer. no, but I think he thought he had an offer. In writing? He didn't. He said he had an email. I think that was, I think that he thought that was like enough. <laughs> Okay, well, it, it but he was also really unhappy with Barstool at that time, right? Absolutely. Oh, he so was like, he was a miserable like yeah, person. Yeah. Like he he had an aura of just negative energy yeah. everywhere he went. Like, but he's always going to be like that. He's going to be like that in three weeks. Like I don't know why they're pretending. Like, but they'll they won't fire him, and then they'll do a pick him, and da 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 da. Like and that, and like you know, in their hearts, I think you're in the right place. But it's like you know, I don't know. The whole office shifted. So when before that, 
it was pretty obvious and clear that I didn't like Rico. Rico didn't like me. Mm -hmm. So you'd have people come up to me like, oh, I suck Rico's doing that, but like, you know, he's been good to me, whatever. You know, you have sure. kind of that back and forth people. Um, no one defended him too hard, but he had his, he didn't have people against him. Right. The second the cons, so he left and then you kind of felt a shift. And then the cons thing came out. In my entire life, I've never seen an entire office openly hate someone like that much. Like you'd have, so he came in that one day last week and People are openly like, fuck Rico, he sucks. Uh, and he's like right there. You can hear all of it. Like right. the whole, it was just a, like everyone was united and like yeah, hating I talked to a lot guy. of people in the company that day. Everyone was upset. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah which I, I get. I feel like it's subsiding a tiny well, bit. That's what happens. But I mean, maybe after the holidays, it'll subside entirely. I don't know. But oh, right Willie now. Wears that, Willie wears that shirt in March. That's going like, to really change everything. Think of all the beefs he had. Like was the cons one really in at the top of the totem pole there? And did he create accounts for different beefs that of course, he had potentially? Of course he like, did. Of course he yeah, did. That's what I mean. Of yeah. course he did. Like, of course he did. These are coworkers. I don't care. I, I mean, I get, you know, you get worked up, but I don't care if some random guy on Twitter goes after you. That's life. That's mm -hmm. life when you're in doing this. But if somebody in your office does it, and not after you, you didn't go after you, because there's somebody else. Someone who didn't choose crazy. to be a part of any of this shit. Yep. Crazy, crazy, crazy. But yep. he'll wear a t-shirt, so that should take care of that. <laughs> Are those going to be for sale? Or are we going to buy some? Or? I suspect they'll be for sale. I would yeah. imagine. Yeah. Yeah. I suspect <laughs> they'll, they'll make money off it, and it's just a circus. And I yeah, totally, I fine. completely yeah. get that. And I don't want Rico fired. A Terrence fired. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I don't, and I laughed. I quote tweeted Kelly Keegs. I think she took it the wrong way, but that was funny. She was like, these idiots pretending to be in the mafia again today. It's, that made me laugh. I don't even think the Rico stuff was the most egregious thing said on Pick'em yesterday. I don't know if you heard this part toward the end. I jumped around a little bit. No, okay. maybe. I, like, I almost was going to write a list of like, I did hear this. employees. Uh, I really like that may like surprise people. Like I fucking love Kelly Keegs. I think Kelly Keegs is fucking hilarious. Almost everything she tweets. But Porter, I laugh Porter at. is a girl. He's like a girl. He like they like things that girls like. I like doesn't, Kelly Keegs too. Surprise me. She's great. She's yeah, super I do. I, she's. She, I think it, the floor is yours. List her talents. Her talent. I don't. I don't consume. I said. I said oh, it's a good answer. I, I think said, she's I funny. Said, she's said, sharp. She has more of an like edge when? than. When is she sharp? She's very sharp. You talk to her. She's very sharp. I, know, but, I think her me, tweets are pretty funny. Give me an example. Uh, I think that the one that Dave just quoted, I think when she goes at you, it's funny. Like I like the back and forth there. Like what? I think she's someone that has the balls to go after you. I right. think there's some credit there. Okay. She's pretty fearless as far as people there. Dave, let's all those examples at some point. We'll, we'll put them on Twitter. Go ahead. Okay. Continue. Uh, that's all I got. Oh, Dave. Same way. He likes, but that's what yeah. Dave likes. He likes like the bachelor. Yeah. That doesn't surprise me. He hired her. I would hope he likes her. Yeah. I, I was, I think there's a, like a parallel universe where she you guys no are. Of, she has no sense of humor about our show at all. None none she's uh, people have told me that privately like they've talked to her and she has no sense of humor about it about the show i don't yeah. think, she's not, she's I, I think part of the problem it. is i don't think she what's that she's also not around it that's like, the thing you know, like, are you a father no, no no i'm just saying like i think that if you're not around something like that you just kind of like hate it naturally like i hate a lot of random shit yeah i don't care i mean i don't yeah. care about her but yeah. whatever yeah, yeah good i i did i was busy with kind of what dave said where i don't think she consumes the show i think if she listened to the show every day i think she would have a different i think she would actually enjoy it but i mean that's that's not going to happen. I don't think so. I don't think so. No, no, no. But, but, but she, has I, her own, she has her own monster podcast. But that's. But funny. as far as like, uh, as far as like women in the uh, like at bar store, even the guys, like I think she has more fight to her than most people there. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, the one time I really dealt with her face to face was at the rough and the rough right. She yeah. was humorless. I mean, humorless. I did fuck that bitch. What do you think she is? She's flipping us. I can't even hear. Never mind. Fuck that bitch. There's what she and she was saying it like behind the scenes and all this stuff. Yeah, she was. Yeah. Uh, whatever. Who cares? Yeah. I don't care. Yeah. But um. But yeah, we'll see how this plays out. I suspect not well. I mean, I'm gonna, leave, I'm kidding. I'm gonna leave Rico Terrence alone. But like, it's just, it's just gonna. I know people like this. It's gonna end poorly. He's gonna get bitter about something at some point, and lose his mind, and they'll hold an emergency meeting again, and then do it. And he'll just be. He's not gonna go anywhere. The whole thing. That's where it does. They've lost. And I, I know it's not scripted in WWE, but. If I was a regular listener, I'd be like, this feels fucking fake to me. Oh, I completely agree. If I was on the other side of it and this happened, and we were we were actually talking about that in the office, which is like, this makes us look like assholes. Because like Rico coming back, this is even before the cons thing. People were upset Rico was coming back. Yeah. Because it, it looks, if you're on the other side, that looks so fake. So fake. So phony. Like, and like, I know it's not, to be clear. I know it's not. It's I, not. It's not. But, but it... But if you're on the other side, how would you ever? And then how would you ever believe us when something else happens? It just I. So people were really upset about that. And then when the cons thing happened, then it was over for Rico in the office. But maybe maybe he'll he'll win friends back if he maybe can. yeah he I mean, has not, been the he's last not with me back. I will say that there is there is not never? like no 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 no, no. Like, like, you know, like you and I like I, I was mad but like I didn't like hate you hate you like I hate people who do that like like I said stuff like this 
I'm sure you don't know specifics. Stuff like this has happened to me in my life, like with my kids, where I'm like, I have no patience. Like I am black, red. You know what I'm talking about, Dave. Like I just lose my mind. Like I have mm-hmm. no, to think that a human being is capable of that is who I would work with in my office. I just can't have it. So to me, it's like, you know, I don't know. Should I, should I be, inf- should I be more flexible with that? I don't think so. No, not keep your job. No, like I'm, again, no. I'm not calling. And you're not alone. I'm this not, isn't like no. I know. I'm not calling like, Eric Nardini or HR. Yeah. no HR. This company and being like, get rid of this guy. Definitely not. Keep. He has a family. He has kids. Keep his job. Like you know. But like, fucking stay away from me. And I think he. I think he. Under, I do think he understands that. Like I don't think he's gonna be bothering me. I don't think you're alone. I think there's a lot of people who are like stay away from me. Yeah, right? that's I, all. I, that's kind of the mindset yeah, I'm getting think, in the office. But I think he also the situation empowers some of those online trolls. Like they realize like that shit has impact. And now I wouldn't be surprised if Absolutely. there's activity going on because Course. of that. People who support Rico are now going after other people who may wouldn't surprise me at all. But yeah. I mean, but like, but also like that. I'm not going to hold that against Rico. No, no. Like that's just the, the Terrence. That's just not the way. This is not the, you know. No, but that's another thing to fucking feel bad about is that your actions now may have triggered sure. other people to be. Yeah, and I've done dumb shit like that too, though. But yeah, but I mean, look, I've had done dumb shit. People have gone after people on Twitter because of me going on some rant. Like, yeah. I, that, I've never been I a fan. I can't imagine that happening. No, but also, but I've never, but I've also, when people have said, def- I'm like, well, no, they're human beings. Like, yeah. if somebody hates Clemmer because he left the show, yeah. What am I supposed to do? Like, yeah. Am I supposed to call that person? And be like, don't tweet at him. No, but you you definitely trigger you you tr- you wanted people to go after me. You're that, a co- you're a content guy. That's that's fine. Fine. No 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 that's no. I'm not equating. I'm not equating it. Account and go after your wife. No on no 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 no. I'm not equating it too. I'm just simply actually, saying. Yeah. What's that? I did actually. Yeah, that's <laughs> I saw people. I think she blocked me. Maybe. Okay. No no no. She's. I think she's. Keeping it retiring from uh, yeah, that's a yeah, good move. Yeah, yeah. I what's saw that? people making those comparisons, like telling people to call a fucking radio station is no, not comparable. Well, those to are the same oh, right, six right. people. Yeah. You know, no, no, who no, cares? No. There's, there's no, fucking, there's no comparison. Those people are in on the joke anyway. They fucking love the show more than anybody. <laughs> um, uh, so there's nobody else you hate at the company? No, no, no. Actually, I was telling Dave, that this, I'm like, this is gonna sound like bullshit, but like, I didn't know it was as supportive as it was. Like, I really like the people there. Mm-hmm. I like going to the office every day. I didn't. The Rico stuff was like tough. It's like, I got to work with this guy. This kind of sucks. But other than that, like, I really like every single person I work with. Dan's a little cold to me. Um, yes, he is. Yeah, he is. Like, he's always polite, but yeah. I'm like, that kind of sucks. And that, it makes me think like, oh, like I was. He did know, step, he did step over him. I don't, I, okay. I certainly didn't intend to. I don't know. It, it feels like a theme, Chris. I don't know. It does. And mm. it makes, I've been doing some self-reflective stuff. I like how, how I don't want to come off as unappreciative. So that really sucks that two people that I admire think I am I'm like that kind of blows. Mm-hmm. So I, I'm trying to see how I can not make those mistakes in the future. I guess. Are you going to Miami? I, don't, I haven't heard a thing about that in months. Yeah. So I think I'm probably gonna end up staying in New York, I guess. Ugh, I don't mind. I, I, I like living on the island's nice though. You go into the city, you come home. It's, I, I love Long Island. I was there till I was nine. So I'm comfortable with that area. Yeah. So I, I like New Hampshire, the quiet of New Hampshire at all. The pandemic kind of changed things a little bit. We were probably looking to make a move anyway. Oh, is that right? I don't know. We were just like, just being, I felt, we felt kind of trapped there. And it was just like, just looking at the same walls. I mean, everyone listening to this went to the same thing, but I just was like, we don't have kids, so we can, yeah, yeah, yeah. we can move, you know? Is yeah. it an open invite to go to Chicago or is it legit? Like, uh, for me, I don't know, Dan. I, I mean, would say that's probably a no for Chris. I mean, right now, but right? It's I, I, until like just a separate headquarters, right? It's not really like, no, I think that's an invite. The people I talk to at the trivia stuff, that's all I know is it was kind of like, you know, you get asked. I don't think people are like, I want to go there. Uh, I, think I, mean, I think some people do want to go there, but it sounds like Dan is kind of. I mean, if you're going to have that many like talent there, you're also going to have that many people on the business side probably be there as well. So you would think it would be uh, more of an open door policy. I well, yeah, but I also think they're going to, and I was saying this to Dan, like they're also going to, and they're creating their own world like us in Chicago. They're just going to find weirdos around True. Chicago. Yeah. Like they're going to organically do that. They shouldn't. My thing is like, they shouldn't be like, let's bring 18 barstool people and just have it be just start. I would say start smaller yeah, yeah. and then find people and build your own universe and create more characters. Yep. Like nobody, there was no Chris or Frank the Tank or whoever or Brandon or they, this happens, or, you know, same with us. Yep. This is how it happens. Yep. So. And I think it's going to happen in New York too. So let's say he takes a dozen people and goes there. Yeah, they have to find people. To Eventually they'll fill that. Because they there is a little bit of a fear with the New York people like, oh, like how many people are going to go? And a few, a few people are like, I, I don't think as many people are going as it may may seem now when Dan leaves, it's going to be a huge and Brandon too. Like those are two of the bigger voices in the office. So if For they sure. left, like that would be a pretty yeah, big, you're going to lose your guy. You're starting to show with him and then he's going to bail on you. He's going to go somewhere else. I know. I guess we'll have to tackle that in, 
I, but yeah, that podcast like a great be, summer. Yeah, that podcast will be still good. I think it will be. It's still going by then for sure. Yeah, we're both absolutely. excited about it. We're both we've done four already. Oh wow, what That's, movies? Uh, um, Rocky. Mm-hmm. Um, this was a long time ago. We filmed these. I'm sorry. A uh, little big league. Mm-hmm. Uh, Miracle and the Denzel Washington football movie. I'm forgetting. remember the Titans. Thank you. Ooh, sorry, love it. Wow, good movies. Uh, Relatable movies to the barstool crowd. Other than that, yeah, fine. Rocky's Rocky is pretty yeah. old, yeah. but we're trying to you know shift back and forth. Rocky the first one? Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's the rule is you can't um, do a sequel until you see the original. So like you, we can't just start with Bad News Bears goes to Japan or whatever. You have to watch okay. the original. That's one of the rules? It's one of the rules. What are the other rules? I always have rules. What are the other rules of this podcast? Uh, oh, we, we rank each movie but then Brandon and I are fighting about it because like Brandon's like well we should rank it based on like it being a sports movie and I'm like no it's just it's just a movie. Like what are we doing here? Like, wow. Okay. But we fight. No, it's I, not. I, I, I'm in. No, this, you're this being sarcastic. You're, no, you're going to nitpick that's, that's like a, each small detail I tell like you. A tremendous it's battle. The, the Kirkman wow. hand way. You ask a question, I give you a detail, and you mock Can it. Can I right? trust the movie instincts of somebody who thought Meryl Streep's been nominated for like four Golden Globes or no? I was rattled that day, man. Give me a break. I was in full mode that day. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Right. I, well, it was a competition. I wanted to win. Me too. I'm really competitive too. So I was really bummed out. Like, I completely should. I, I, honestly, I don't even think I choked. I think I'm just dumb. I didn't know any of the answers. I don't, the Meryl Streep one was a choke, though. That was, I mean, I should have guessed better. I felt, I, yeah, I felt when I answered, I was like, I think I undersold it. Cause it's just, you know, me for like so much shit for Golden Globes. I know, like TV I know. movies and like Angels in America. I got the Seinfeld question lives. wrong too. Like, the, how many episodes? I'm like, oh, come on, man. Like, I know. Oh, the first season, only six episodes, right? I know. I know. Yeah. I know. Is Castellani going to be back to join your team for the next match or yep. anything? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it sounds like it. Uh, that's what I've heard. I, yeah. I, yeah, fully. I yeah, I mean, we're not gonna. We won't play until he's back. Tweets recently meant he's like fully back. I, don't I know think so. I think. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. I, I hope he's. He texted yeah. me the other day. He seems like he's doing all right. Yeah, we were know. texting too, and he seems. It, would, it seemed like he was doing. Yeah, it. yeah. So I, he I took I, his thirty minute break for mental health, and now he's back to work. Right? Nothing to joke about. Nothing to joke. No, about. you're right. That's very whatever he needs. Very serious. What's what's the problem with me? What did I say on the show? That was a big deal. Well, for, wait, wait, hold on. First of all, I had something else I was going to... Oh, people... Uh, the other thing people want to ask is, what has your relationship been with the Kirk Minahan show the past six months? Uh, as far as listening? Yeah, well, yeah. Okay. Well, I know the uh, you haven't been on it. I haven't been on it. <laughs> what, what the doesn't seem with, to like me right now. What the relationship uh, would it be? Uh, there's, so, after the Wil- so, I listened to every minute until the Wilbur, uh-huh. obviously. Uh, and after Wilbur, I kind of went back and forth. Some, uh, there are a couple episodes I've missed. I, I kind of jump in, like... Jump yep. in and out. Um, mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. the last month, I i don't know. I've been feeling a little better. Maybe you kind of had that same turn with me. And it's like, all right. I, so I've been listening more and more. But okay. um, but there are some episodes I missed, which is weird because it, until that moment, I hadn't. You're still a fan of the show. Oh, I, yeah. Like I was listening to the episode like on the train yesterday. And I was like laughing out loud. And, like, oh, which, uh, yesterday's episode? Yeah. What was, yesterday? what was going on Nothing yesterday? Nothing particularly funny about yesterday's episode. It was Mike. I'm just kidding. No, your rant about uh, the monologue at <laughs> Chicklets was pretty funny. Oh, uh, Jesus. Yeah, you had the conversation yeah. with Dan to yeah. start the show. Oh, right, right. Jeff Actually, Tech, by the way, that Jeff, went pretty well remotely. Jeff texts. It was okay. Jeff texted me and he's like, just just in case, like, if you need some help, I, like, I did. Oh, I no. <laughs> like, all right, well, maybe. maybe. I don't know. So I would like to know, like, what's. So I'm doing something for. I'm not participating. Or my team's not going to be there. Me, my guy Quigsy, and uh, uh, Big Ev had a big win the other night. I, I saw 15, 14 dramatic. If you had called me for that baseball question, which I know you weren't going to, mm-hmm. but if you were going to call me, I would have gotten it wrong. Oh, was that true? Yeah. I, Too bad. Pri- I was definitely going to call you. I always, well, no, but I always like pride myself in knowing the baseball ones. I, like, I, I just always forget about Gallardo. That's not my favorite era either. So for me, it wasn't, oh I had God. no chance, but um, uh, we're not, we're not, but I'm doing something for trivia that Thursday night in Arizona as well. Oh, okay. Something like, I don't know, yeah. like comment. I don't know, like something like uh, Nick would do or something. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, like the play by play. Something. I don't know. They're asking me to do something, so I'm doing that. I'm doing something with Whitney there, uh, nice. and uh, 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 the mini golf. So okay. I guess I'm doing stuff. Do you, could you? Do you have any more info about the Chicklets Live event of what your responsibilities? Nothing. I'm hosting are it. I'll talk, I will actually talk to Jeff because he did it because I don't know yeah. like what I'm supposed to. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do. Yeah. I just you were saying I talked to Whitney yesterday and Whitney's like just like fuck around. I was like, all right, I can do that. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I don't know. Right. I like a I, I do like a structure. Like I'm already working on the main show, like at the state theater. Uh, what's that? Nothing. Yeah. What am I not supposed to? No, you have to. We have to. Yeah. There are no seats available left for that, by the way. That's correct. Yeah. Um should we tweet that out? No, we should not. <laughs> Uh, uh, so I'm still trying to figure out what that's, but like, I think the Chicklets guys are just going to show up and fuck around, which is probably the better, which is a better way to go through life. Like, yeah. well, it's just easier. I would think like a lot of NHL guys are going to be in the area maybe for that game. So maybe they'd have some live guests. I oh, I think know. they definitely will. Yeah. And when he said, it's going to be like an hour and a half. So I'll just do it and I don't know, just get out of the way, I guess. Yeah, what's that, a Sunday night? 
The first is a week from Sunday. It's a yeah, it's a Sunday night. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. Because Christmas is Sunday, and yeah, obviously New Year's Day would be Sunday. That's yep. what it is. So. Yep. Chickless guys and the four place guys always seem to be like happy. Like they're always they're like great. walking around like 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 it's like life know, is the greatest. Guys, and the two hosts of the, the Whitney and Riggs are the two biggest fans of the show, the company. And I don't know why they're happy guys. It's not a happy show. It's not a happy show. So I don't know why they love the show so much. I mean, it's Riggs, a funny show. Though. Riggs loves the show. Loves yeah, he does. the show. Lo- he I know he's watching. He lo- hello Riggs. He loves it. Whitney loves the show. Why? Yeah, but they love giving people shit too. Like they love that. Yeah, and then they apologize like Whitney That's did. True. That's fucking true. bully. Yeah. But anyway. <laughs> so yeah. So why do you hate calling him? I don't hate Colin at all. Oh. Uh, Colin in is what he is. Uh, did, Brian Mike no. go, did Brian Mike go to your house and demand that you resubscribe to his podcast? <laughs> yeah, it was did really he? rude. Did <laughs> I didn't yeah. like that. Are you, you don't subscribe to Brian Mike. I do subscribe. That's what, that's what pissed me off. I still subscribe. So what was the issue? Uh, my, wow, you, you had that rage? Uh, Jesus. Jesus. Well, it was annoying because like you can't, it's, it's tough because like when you, when it comes out on this show, it becomes the truth, even though it's not the truth sometimes. And this is, this is a terrible defense. Uh, what are you saying? No, like, so like, do you subscribe to the Buy My Project? I do. Did you once have two subscriptions in your home to the Buy My Project? Yes. Is there currently half those subscriptions? Correct. Is that because of discord between you and the show? Uh, discord between, I think, Mike and me. Right. Well, okay. Involving the show. Yeah. Sure. Okay. So that's why. Yes. So that, that's true and not true to your point. Yes. Okay. So then what's the, so I think I just sussed it out. I think know? so, but, but that's not how it was. Did you feel when you, when you unsubscribed, did you give it the. I didn't you, unsubscribe. Your wife unsubscribed. Correct. That's loyalty. Oh, she was being loyal to you. Yes. Oh. What was your issue with Mike? I don't remember. Well, is that just uh, Mike all of a sudden randomly tweeted like, "I guess Chris has turned his back on this show," and I'm just like, "What the this fuck?" This is this is what's his face's fault, right? According to Mike, Craig. Yes. Craig's fault. Yeah. yeah. So uh, and you, you know, then you called Ironhead, right? I didn't call him. So what happened was... Am I um, getting this wrong, dude? Yeah, yeah, I'll explain. Those lines, yeah. Okay, we've well, explained it well so far. I'm trying. I've had to walk you through Keep it. interrupting me. Go ahead. Telling this great story. It's a good story. <laughs> it's, it's quite a tale. So uh, I was um, I was watching, actually, I was watching this show. Okay. Uh, you guys had the YouTube on, mm-hmm. and this all came up, and I'm just like, what the fuck? And uh, Craig, I think the show tweeted out, Chris Clemmer has unsubscribed from the Blind Right Project. And then Craig quote tweets it and goes, this is a true story. And I wrote back, I'm like, you're the one that can look and you can see who subscribed. I didn't unsubscribe. You're wrong. Right. And he well, goes, that's, yes. That's, he, that's semantical. Though. And he yeah. goes, yes, you did. I but said, no. I, and he sends a screenshot of like my wife's picture and who, her wait, name. Craig did that? Yeah. He's like Rico. And I'm like, that's not me, you fucking idiot. But, why, but why did she? Why'd you have but, but, two accounts? Why'd but, she but because that? we were trying to support, like, with Darby Nice, so Mike had like two. You know, it looked like there were more people subscribed your, than not. But to your point earlier, it kind of is the same as you unsubscribing. You're, there's a message being sent. I guess, but I didn't send that message. I know, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah. But go ahead. So, okay. So, the, so, then, then, so, that, so then Craig then, you know, read all of that. Well, read parts of it on air. And I was just like, all right, dude. Like, no he, one's watching that, but yeah. I know. But it was just like, you know, other times he said stuff to me. And he's like, this is off the record, right? I said, of course. Like what? I'm not going to say it's off the record. I'm wow. not an asshole. Wow, that's impressive. Well, yeah, go ahead. All well, class. not all the time. Hmm. No, but so like I said, that's the kind of thing where it's like sometimes the show will. It's my fault now. You're saying no. Okay. I'm saying the universe will create. Sometimes it is your fault. Mm, will create a narrative that's not 100 percent true, but it becomes the truth because you have the larger microphone. It's also not zero percent true. Uh, I think it is zero. I think well, Chris no, Cover did no, not you, unsubscribe. No, that but your not, point, you said it's true and not true. It's true. You not said true. that yourself. True and so not true. That's like 50 50. Eh. That's loyalty, I guess. 25 cents. Did you endorse her unsubscribing, or did you not know about it? I knew about it. Yeah. Oh, well, then, okay. There you, you go. Then, then I you knew just, about it. You Does, signed off on it. I didn't sign off on it. Was it about the money or was it just like a... Yeah, it was tough. We were really scrounging for that. No, I'm just asking. Five dollars. Okay, so... Uh, no, it was, no, it's... A, it's um, it was to send a message by somebody. And I think it was just... Like, and she's like, I don't really want to be a part of this anymore. I said, all right. It's fair. I, I, Is it weird that you're the third highest paid Barstool employee in this in this studio right now? I maybe take the... Oh, I don't... Am I? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I think I, I again I know everything. Okay. Uh, Who do you think you're talking to? I don't think you know what people make. <laughs> okay. I think he does. Okay, go ahead. Maybe you do. I, oh, yeah. oh, I, I didn't realize you had it in with accounting. Oh, I oh, I please. I know I mean, how many times have, how many more stories have to break? I know everything. I'm in the middle of everything. Any other questions you have for Chris Dave? No, I I wanted to hear about the problem with me. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, yes, I I course. just I mean Of course. Any good producer's probably a snake. 
And uh, there's a famous snake. Yeah, snake. I, I'm not a snake, but go on. You had it. Okay, your opinion of me on this show for the last few months is very you're, different than the you're opinion. Saying, you're saying the wind was blowing, and he. Oh he, yeah, I mean, it's Dave Cullening. But I think whichever way the wind blows, right? Think, the human think, windmill. Things I, also things also happen, though. Yeah, but we also had it out. It wasn't on, like we woke up on the uh, sudden Tuesday and was like, "Ah, oh, fuck this guy." I mean, things did happen. Things did. Okay, things happened. Yes. Like I said earlier. The opportunity is so massive, but I think the overreaction also is so massive, but I can't be mad about the overreaction because I had this great opportunity. So I'm kind of, I was conflicted for a while. Pulp Fiction will be number one on this list, right? Uh, that is not true. Yeah, I think that is true. That's true. How, how long do I have to wait for this? Years, oh, right? Only summer of 2024. <laughs> right around have, the corner. We have a job by then there. We'll see. I don't think you're a job for life guy there at this point. Um, whatever they want me to do. What do you mean? Like if they, like I, I. If they resign me, it's a everything is a bonus. Yeah, they won your contract. I have a one year contract with an option. It's their option. Yeah, I, I have a feeling it was their option. Yeah. So that's it next summer? July fifteenth, I think. July, July 15th. Yeah, something like that. Okay. They'll pick that up, I think. We'll see. For that money, they'll definitely die. Have you had any <laughs> have you had any um like have you had any internal scrutiny of how things ended with this show that you feel like shit, if I didn't fuck that up, I'd still be on with those guys in some capacity. Well that was Am never I, gonna happen once we went to New York. No, I mean I'm in New York. I mean I, I feel I I said it. The underappreciated. Like, you went into Barstool Idol thinking if you won that competition, you would never have involved. I felt that way. With the I felt that show. way because you can be in New York. Well, I, don't, I just don't know how it would. I felt that. I way. guess what? What, did, what do you mean, Dave? I'm, I'm not trying to be an asshole. I don't want to do shows. Like, I don't want to do shows remotely. Came to Magnolia. I mean, he's he's gone. Yeah, he lived in, but, to, but he wasn't. But he have a job. No, I don't know if he'd be here every day or once a week. But I just mean like in the world. He was not going to come here once a week from New York. I didn't. He was not going to do that. Just, I don't know how it would have played itself out, but I just don't like. I would you have mean, thought it, if he got his well, you job, were completely removed from the universe. Like That's Rico true. was a part of this universe just yeah. by calling. I don't know how that would have played. Oh, out, I see what I you're saying. It's, like, oh, it's like, sort of a character if, within it. Yeah, yes. right. Like let's say the bar, let's say That's the fair. let's say uh, the Celtics game never happened or whatever. Or let's say you, you know you guys. Didn't, but you also know how I am. Like once you're gone, you're. That's dead. the thing. It's like I kind of I knew there was going to be some blowback. Like that was not. Like, that but was you never have to understand that your contributions to this show and just being a part of the show is a skill set of yours that probably like really suits you over maybe even just blogging. To be honest with you, I agree. Like your role within oh, this I, show. Oh, I totally agree. Yeah. I agree. So like, yeah. I would think going into that as an employee of Barstool, I mean, you must you miss find doing some the show. Way to keep it. Oh, I do. I miss. I, I miss a lot of this. I miss. I I genuinely like. I mean, pretending to care about Frank the Tank has got to be no, a I, tremendous, I, I, tremendous amount. Of no. Love so I mean, I mean, he's talking about zero. I I I love the guy. So yeah, huge talent. I, he's a he's a really good guy. Does he get mad when the Mets lose or no? He does. Doesn't okay. He's very <laughs> he's brief. very supportive. Been he's brief. been great with me. I like the guy a lot. What was the like thing him. with Doug? That was a funny clip. The thing with Doug's this weekend. Doug's, Doug's just screaming. Doug's just, Stop fucking yelling. Oh. Frank Frank was a, was was, was a lot that day. He couldn't pay me a billion dollars to sit in one of those fucking things. Oh god. That no, but you'll do dreadful. the watch along. You're gonna fly all the way to Arizona and yeah, not sit in a room and watch. And, gonna and sit in a, a small tube with with eighty other strangers. For what? You're gonna oh, I guess you're gonna fly there. Yeah, gonna drive. I mean, there won't be 80 people on that plane. No? <laughs> no, 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 oh, no. I talked to my guy, Wood, yesterday. There will there not be. There you go. Oh, be, really? A little PJ action? There won't be 80 people. Ooh. Wow. Going out of Hanscom? I'll say that. Guy, I'll yeah? say that. Believe me. There'll be no. Wow. <laughs> I'll be sitting there watching Frank the Tank chew some toy. And then whatever, screaming some TV. Oh, by the way, somebody sent me a video of that, the aftermath of that, or the plane, the story you were talking about. Yes, it's Hawaii plane. I told you. No, I know, but I didn't see the video until this morning. Oh, the turbulence thing? I haven't seen the video. Some lady hit her head on the roof. Crazy, like 35 35 people you said? Yeah, blood everywhere. Oh my God. I'm telling you, I'm terrified. I I don't, I, I, I remember there was years ago, uh, at EI, I had a chance, another chance to fly private, but I was in a fight with Ordway, so I flew commercial. That's right. To the last Super Bowl I went to at the station in Minneapolis. Mm-hmm. And I remember I waited be, uh, on the flight. Casey Smith was there at the time on the same flight because she was at, um, at Comcast. At Comcast. Because she and I actually went to did Barstool Radio in Minneapolis that day. It was the first time I ever met KFC, I think. Um, but on that flight, it was her, me, Casey, and that guy, Tom. Um, oh. I think Casey might have dated him. Tom Giles? Oh, yes. Tom Giles, yeah. yeah. Is that right? And I got, I was in row like 22 and I was in a window seat. And I sat in the window seat there, and I felt so claustrophobic. I was having a panic attack. I was like, I have to get off this plane. And I turned to the guy in the in the aisle seat, and I said, look, I, my back's killing me. I'm going to get up a few times. And he's like, oh, we can just switch. If he hadn't switched, I would have like You're gone. been like Charles Grover in the midnight run. I would have got off that plane. Ever since then, like, commercial is just a tough beat. <laughs> Flying first class isn't bad. <laughs> Not the same. Because you, you still have to go through the airport. I, that's the pain in the ass. You still right. have to go through the yes. airport. Like, I flew private no, once. 
You did? I flew to New York private. Yeah. It's unbelievable, right? And don't get me wrong. Great experience going to New York. But when you fly to New York, they then take you on a helicopter from wherever. Teterboro? Is that what it is? Yeah, we flew into New- yeah. the- to Jersey, I think, right? Yeah. 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 Or well, that's where the private plane went yeah, to. Yeah, and then yeah. you get in a helicopter. What are you flying private for? I don't know. Just have a business thing. Somebody was flying private and they took me with them. Okay. Yeah. And But getting on the helicopter, that was the baddest part. Going on the helicopter from Teterboro. Teter- you like that? To Manhattan, that was a nice pretty sweet, one. right? Yes. Like I said before, that's what Billy Joel does from uh, oh, yeah. from the Hamptons to, to Madison Square Garden. That's he, what he uh, walks off. He walks out of his house. He gets a helicopter. It lands like wherever, and he gets. He says it's like sixteen minutes from his door to the to sit at the piano, at Madison Square Garden. Wow. When Portnoy did Barstool Idol, the last day, I guess oh, right. he did that. He, did. he Correct. flew. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Wow. Have you dealt with him much or no? He uh, no. Uh, he's been in Miami because like, the tax stuff. So oh, right, yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. he's been in the office. There's one, cause there's like two week period where he was in the office every day. Yeah. And then after that, uh, he hasn't really, he has, he's been in Miami. Yeah. yeah. Can we yeah. find like an investor just to take those watches off his hands? Like, Ooh, can we just find somebody who's got stupid, like he's Elon, we just buy he's it. Fucking broke. Just from pay him back for him. It's just like, I mean, Jesus, these watches. <laughs> was that real? I, I mean, I didn't see these emails. Did he really offer? I'm not employees? on these emails. I'm not either, but did he offer? They, they read this email. I'm sure you're on it, Chris. I'm, I, they took me off the emails after the, uh, mm-hmm. Milton's thing. So I've never seen, you know this, uh, Riggs will set, or, or Dan will forward me important stuff. This thing that Rico, the Dave Rico, I never see any of the yeah, emails. I, I got that them. email. Yeah, You see them, right? I get some emails. I'm not on the I get content. none of them. I'm not yeah. on the content. Which that, is that great. I don't want, email. I don't want, like, I, it's great. I don't, yeah. I don't need any emails. Yeah. I get enough stupid emails. Okay. You know, I mean, well, I, I'll get the other email account. That's but, a I mean, good one. Yeah. I, that account was bursting yesterday. Oof, very active yesterday. We had a busy case day yesterday. We, had a, we did a case interview yesterday. Kate Minahan and I were doing uh, some Christmas shopping. We were outside Dick's Sporting Goods in Medford. It, while we did that interview, Dave, she was on the oh, phone. She were. was, yeah, I was in the. She My was kids there. were with me as well. It was yes. a nice little family affair yesterday. We, the interview ended, and Kate said, "She said Dave's got a really dumb voice." <laughs> <laughs> she's like every time <laughs> she, the Wilbur. Like she, she likes she, you, but unbelievable. She's a face. She supports you. She's the one who said you look like Mr. Beast, and she said you're All a nice right. guy. Yeah, but she. Uh, it was like his voice critical. gets like critical. his voice gets really high. I was like, yeah, he gets kind of he gets kind of worked. That was in a rush too. I, I wasn't super comfortable in that. And then the kids were running around, so I wasn't super. Well, I didn't hear them. You did a yeah. good job with them. Yeah, no, I was, but, I was muting my. I had a mic, so I was muting myself. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. but I thought it was a good. Yesterday was a wild case day behind the scenes for about five six hours. Yeah, maybe. Yep. yep. So how long? Because you've done four episodes now. You've done four episodes. How I appreciate your. I've seen you've been retweeting it. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, you guys. Well, congratulations to on. Solving a murder. That's true. You didn't reach out. Thank God. Yeah, it's fine. Did you want me to? Doesn't matter now. It's too late. Well, it's weird. Yeah, it's, there's, well, a, there's a 90 day, whatever. You I tried to, uh, I've tried to follow you twice on Twitter uh-huh. and you block me for a second. And then, uh, so I, so then I can't follow you. You've done that to me twice. <laughs> My team does that. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I stopped communicating at that point. I'm right. Like, All right. Uh-huh. This guy's being weird. Yeah. I'm going to stop doing that. Well, that's a weird move, it, right? The that's second great. time I try and follow somebody, if they block you the first time, I'd agree that's weird. Oh, that's on me. I would, I would agree that that's is weird. on me. It's a test you failed. I didn't know what happened. I'm like, I, like maybe it was an ad. I'm so bad with technology. I'm like, maybe I did something wrong. I pressed the wrong button. Like, you, know, you called me the other day. Oddly, it went straight to voicemail, huh? You told me to call you. <laughs> I, will, I, I forgot, wanted to read you that. I, I forgot I blocked you. I'm sure I blocked your phone number. That's I'm sure. so weird. Like, anyway. like, I'm this like horrible like person. Like, you got to block me. I just, just don't need it. You know, I just don't need it. Don't need what? You just don't need the aggravation. I never aggravate. I never bother you. How oh, did you follow me on Twitter? What's well, that? You, like when you pretty much wash your hands of people if it ends in a questionable way, right? Like if there's He's any here. Part- yeah, but I mean, like, but you. You're I right. would say, I would say, you didn't more than anybody, I have had relationships with people. Where we've had Jerry, whoever, big yeah. ups and big downs. Where I disagree with that. I disagree with that. I kind of figure Chris will always be back in well, some form. I just form mean, of like, if you're not like real friends with that. Like, I've, like, Chris, like, I've laid like. The last three or four months have been pretty quiet. Yeah. Oh, like after, I think the, so. after the initial storm. After, like, the, after the trivia. After the dozen, it, it's quieted down. But even that was like a that was a like a show. What was I going to do? Hug you during the trivia? No, 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 no. I mean, like on the show, rather. Excuse me. Like on this show, after the dozen, yeah, it really I don't died think down. Even leading into that, it was pretty quiet. Like it wasn't. Your yeah. performance was also dreadful. Oh, deserves it. That was probably brutal. deserved. That was like, brutal. Oh, on the dozen? Oh, yeah. my God. I, 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 I already said that I said 20 it. minutes ago. What? It could be said. That was unbelievable. I said it was horrible. I was. That literally said Castanelli. Castanelli was like a normal guy before that. That like changed him. He told me that on the phone. Like changed him completely. He had never thrown up before that. It was uh, like, it was just, he never tasted alcohol. It was unbelievable. I, I couldn't, I was like, I was like, is this happening? He, is, I, I was like, this guy's a smart guy. 
I didn't know the answers. <laughs> I, 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 I hope not. <laughs> Unless you, were, unless you were throwing the game. Unless you I were, wasn't. I wasn't. I, I was trying my artist. Really and your was. team stinks, right? No, no, not bad. Castellani's like, great. I'm okay. And Alex is terrible. She's, uh, she had, I, we're going to find out what she we really. Call her, we call her straight pad. She's terrible. Terrible. She's all right. She's a good sport though. I have, she I, is. I like, yeah. I like Alex. Bennett. Me too. I know we had her, but like, she's, she, to me, you mentioned Kelly Keegs earlier. Alex Bennett's somebody who completely gets it. Yes. Like say whatever you want. She, you disagree with that, Dave? Yes and no. I oh mean, no! Oh, she can take on. a no, punch. She, she, she can literally take a punch. And she, she can take. She can totally take. Does she get that every person who sees her tweet about NASCAR and yellow? No, that's wants a to that's, fucking vomit. That's a different or, conversation. Or no. okay, we so all agree a, with that. So she's, it's a 50-50 nobody says she's not show. terrible on Twitter. That's a okay. different conversation. Okay, all right. So yeah, fine right. with the show, fucking around, having fun. Right. Absolutely. Though I do think she hated your guts for a good what two week time period with that rough around. But then you get over it. Yeah. So yeah, she can roll with it. I don't think so. I talked her after the fight, and she was fine. Lies, lies. She played it. Probably played it cool. She was. So what? There's still there's still a skill in that it's not like your stupid parents there you know what i'm saying yep yeah i'm just saying yeah. content kim's been killing it lately. worse very uh, nice honestly, person who cares if I, I do what's that to do with whether or not she's good or who gives a shit i do she's a nice person she's that's a very a, nice that's person. the worst offense i've ever heard of somebody hope. what's that dave if i look back on <laughs> that's what a horrible day what a horrible day to call someone just because it's you know it's the last show of the year i feel like some memories of the year is, is appropriate i would oh, say the biggest we mistake have, we, we made we have a wrap-up show that's coming up right next yeah next week and that's harrison doing that yes i'll help him with it though yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. All right, but go what I was going to say, biggest mistake is ab- ob- obviously back in Cupcake. That was Oof. like one of the top. That's that maybe the worst mistakes ever made. Yeah. <laughs> but you, you like, realize that the fighters in New York have like a professional trainer who's like really good. That's why the Barca people always win. She was trying to become a professional boxer. Yeah. Like we just yeah. thought to choose. Yeah. Be yeah. yeah. I mean, that was, <laughs> this is a bad call. But, yeah, I, mean, but I mean, but it's not like Alex Bennett. I mean, you know, it was like 50. I didn't think Alex Bennett was going to be. No, yeah, but like, by the way, Alex wasn't even that great. It was just the uh, Cupcake. Oh, she was. She, she destroyed Cupcake. What's upset? No, she won the fight. I'm not saying that, but Cupcake was brought nothing to the Isn't table. Isn't kind of what co- people complain about? Uh, who's the boxer you hate? The uh, Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather. Doesn't he like? He's kind of tactical, right? He's slow for a while. Is he the Alex did? No, I'm just saying. Oh, Cupcake. Cupcake was kind of like tactical. What's we say? Cupcake boxing. Cupcake treat like a fight, not like rough and rowdy. She said that after. I mean, once she calm down but yeah i mean i felt bad yeah i've been checked in with her on in a while about it but now once you lose yeah. the, uh, the, the sun goes somewhere else it's not, i mean she look, we like her she was very nice you loved her oh wow that's a horrible thing to call someone what you said she was very nice you yeah, but gave I her the, yeah but i wouldn't hire her to do content at barstool no no uh-huh. yeah i mean she might bake cookies you had her on saying, your show like she's a who? great guest cupcake <laughs> that's what i'm saying yeah we, but it's like a good I conversation would, it's good back and forth if contact want, kim is probably a nice person if, she stinks yeah. on the air. What's that? And if we want to point out wins of 2022, it's like making Cupcake relevant in 2022. It was a big win for the show. I mean, I, I, I mean, mean, that was a like I made, I was, the, right. I was the center of Rough and Rowdy that night. <laughs> no, that's it was, like, that's it was, it was great theater. It, it absolutely and, was. And it was better for everyone that she, like, better that we lost. It's a better story. Oh, absolutely. Like, oh. Because if, if Alex Bennett had lost and I'm standing over a dead corpse, I don't think that's great. <laughs> mm. I mean, it would have been fine, but it would have been great content. No, that was a great, Dave, what, are great, great what are the great wins that we have this year, Dave? God, I don't mind this Other game. great wins? Mm-hmm. We solved a murder. Solved I solved a murder. You solved yep. a murder. Mm-hmm. Um, hmm, other wins. Dave did say in the head. case episode the other day, a couple people know that to me that Dave said we a couple of times. While Ooh. About this. I didn't notice that. I wrote that down. What did I, in context to Just what? Just sort of like we're, you know, we're looking, we're digging into that. We, 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 a lot of like, you know. What you guys have I a say? nice partnership going on that. We are partners. What would I say? It's nice to have a partner on the case. How would I word it? I would said, would that have been weird like you? Yes, should be you. So just you, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Just yapping away during that thing. Didn't tell him to use the mic, just turned it on and started going. People were saying true crime Dave is like a different Dave. I didn't get that sense. That's just as dumb. Saying, <laughs> 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 yapping I'm getting a lot of DMs. I was annoyed by you as I was Same normally. Same response from the Yak Chat. I'm getting about true crime Dave. It's amazing. The Yak Chat? Yeah, when I was... Uh, He's still vicious, rattled about When I was that. viciously attacked by the Yak crew last week. You just you just, you just just worded it wrong, that's all. That's all. Yeah. You know? And it was nice of Dan to put me on his level and compare the abuse he took over the Rico thing to the abuse I took. It seems to me that Dan's biggest concern about the whole Rico thing is the abuse he's taken on social media. Yes. <laughs> and so he wants to get that record cleared as quickly as possible. We, got we understand people are assholes on, according to the guy, who, including the guy you brought back. Yep. You know, so anyway. <laughs> that's, that's true. Uh, are you, you going to swim by Milton's? What, are you going back today? I'm wearing Milton's right oh, now. Oh, look at that. There you go. Are you spending Christmas, I suppose, in New York, right? Uh, yes. Oh, no. Uh, well, Christmas Day, we're going back to Massachusetts and New Hampshire. So it'll be from okay. Christmas Day until whatever. I just miss some of your New Hampshire spots. I would just, I, don't I know, miss my, so much. Quieter. I miss my friends in New Hampshire. I miss my family, but like that's, I don't miss the spots so much. No, not no, at all. No. So, you just, you, so where are you moving next to New York? If, if we, if January 1st, you have to go somewhere else. Yes. The B&B runs out. Right. We'll be at a different Airbnb. And then um, if 
by March, if I haven't heard anything about Miami, I'm just going to, we're just going to, I guess, rent an apartment or rent a house. In the same area? In Long Island, I think. Yeah. We like it out there. I wouldn't want to live in the city. It's too close. Ah, I can't. You age out too. You That's know? true too. That's true too. It's for younger people. But it's, uh, it, yeah, I really, really like it out there. It's, it's, it's really, it's more, I think more our speed right yeah. now. He seems happy at, at Barstool, Dave. He does know. seem happy. He, huh? Which yeah. is good. Yeah. You know, it's a great company. I've always said I love the company. I will never work for anybody else. Uh, any, oh, you said you were going to Milton's update yesterday? Yes, we are all clear for 2023. Okay. Plenty of time to spare. Yep. For this year, it's pretty unusual. Usually it's a, who'd you deal with? Uh, Bill and somebody in sales. Yeah. Who in sales? Was uh, Patrick is his name. Okay. How He was all right? He was okay. Yeah? Just yeah. okay? Yeah. Okay. Typical sales idiot or no? No, not an idiot. Okay. Oh, certainly not. Uh, Milton's a store for men. There's everything you need to stay warm and look good during winter. It's been freezing out. Tomorrow's supposed to be a disaster. Yeah, what's up with that? It's a crazy storm. Like it's like five it inches rain? of rain and they like 70 mile an hour wind or something. Once in a generation storm. That seems, it's, it's, that yeah, seems it's, stupid. These things always uh, tend to blow over. I don't know. But it's good. My issue is that if it rains like that, it's freezing overnight. It's going to be an ice, mm. fucking ice storm then? Yeah. When do you take off? I think Saturday morning. Oh, okay. You should be. Right school's still going. You're going to Vermont, right, Dave? Yes. Is yes. school what? School's still going on until Friday, right? Yeah. For yes. Everybody. Yeah. Which is yes. insane. Really? All the way until Friday? Why? Why is that insane? How much time do you want these kids to get off? Well, it's Christmas Eve on Saturday. I would think, yeah. you, would, I think you would stop on Saturday. Saturday's right. a great travel day. I mean, nobody, if it's a half day Friday, right? Yeah. Nobody wants to travel at that point. I don't think it's a half day for me. No, I'm saying if yeah. it is, yeah. nobody wants to get in the car at two o'clock. Oh, uh, right. It's right. A no, but you could drive Thursday night, though. If the kids have to go to school Friday, that's rough. Ugh. They, that's they, not. They should. Off, they should bank that Friday. They're also off the. You don't have kids. You don't have to deal with it. That's why yeah. you think it's easy. No, they're, I don't. They're I also don't. off the second. Yeah, like how much true. fucking time do you want these kids to have off? They're off all the time. How yeah. crazy is the bar stool like time off? Like I don't even know why what are it is. we? No, no. Like today is not. Like we don't need to be here today in theory. Like right. why? Like why did we close Thursday? I was. I was surprised by that. Ooh, critical. No, no, no. I, it's nice. I guess it's. I mean, it's good for people. I know, like people who do like college football stuff. They've been working nonstop. Well, I think the sale, I think, the, I think, well, next week, sales is dead, right? No, yeah, not right, sell course, So I don't, I, I don't know. No, why I understand they're... next week, but why today? Yeah, I don't know. I don't, it's a good question. I don't, I don't have the answer for it. I can just, I'm just here to talk about Milton's. That's it. Buy one, get one free suit event is going on right now. Uh, suit separates from Calvin Klein, Ralph Lauren, all on sale as we speak. South Shore Plaza, Braintree, Chestnut Hill Square, Chestnut Hill, of course, now open at the Burlington Mall. If you want to shop online, go to Milton's.com. Uh, our, it's been a great 2022 with Milton's as always, as it was in 21 and 20 and 19. It will be in 23. We can announce that now. Correct. That's okay. great. You feel good about that? I feel good about that. I feel Everyone's good about happy. that forever. Till the, till the last day of Kirk Manhattan's contract, I feel like they'll be. Which is... Yeah, you got the countdown? No, but we are... Uh, this is it. Next time we're back is January, and it'll be my last full year as a professional broadcaster. Oh, 2023. <laughs> 2020, definitely my last. I don't think that. No, not, not, yeah. as, not as a professional broadcaster. No. but as, no, de, no question about it. No question. I've always said I will never work in my 50s, and I will never work in my 50s. You've, you've stated that you might continue the case after and stuff like that. I don't think so. What are you going to do? do? You're, so, you're so full of shit. What are you going to do? Right? I'm going to write. I'm going to try and write. All right. Writing's boring. I mean, that's. I like to do it. <laughs> I like to do it. That's all right. Yeah, I mean, you could talk with some hayseed of a little big league. I mean, I'm just, I just want to kind of live my life, you know. You would love to do a movie show. You'd have so much fun. I could do one tomorrow. I could do I that. Know. I could do that and get this one canceled. Why would you do that? That sounds mean. Would it annoy you? Would yeah. it make you upset? I just do another one. All right, well, but then I will do that one. It's weird. Yeah, we so what? Just, just do what I saying. do. Yeah, why not? I would intentionally then do something you would hate to do just to fuck with it. I might do that. What's that? Well, what's up with the Mariners? What happened there? Hold on. Milton's.com. Get moving right now. Go to Milton's.com. Yeah, Mike Mike had three questions, right? Yeah. yeah. One was about the Mariners. Yes. Um, and uh my Airbnb has shitty Wi Fi. Oh okay. so that's why. And we we were selling the house, so it was it was just a lot of moving parts. But um Okay, that sounds like an excuse, but yeah. No, it's more of an item thing. I I don't know. I might um I could do it from the office, but like it seems like more of a nighttime thing. Okay. I Clean really... out those colons. The Mariners win. Woo! Okay. What was uh, Mike's second question? Yeah. Uh, Mike's second question was... I told you to write these down. Where is the movies of the millennium? Oh, that's been removed. Yep. Yeah, I don't know. I was going to I was gonna do a show with, with Brandon about the sports movies. So. Okay, so there you go. And and what was this stupid question? Okay. About Norm, how long did Norm... I'm guessing when Norm was in his car on his way to Cheers, that's when he thought of what he'd say. Okay. Yeah. Do, you, do you think he drove? Oh, I do. Weren't there some episodes where they had to like bring him home? Yeah. I always felt like Norm, Norm lived in a suburb though. Me too. Like that Thanksgiving thing was definitely like a Newton or not. Uh, well, who knows? I'm not, I, if you said to me, where did Norm live? I would say he lived, he was an accountant, right? I wouldn't be surprised if he lived right here in Watertown. Yeah, that wouldn't surprise me. 
I would always thought Newton. I don't know why. I, got, I don't know, like, why would that be your, maybe because it's right near the office? Well, I think he worked. I think That's his right. accounting office yeah, was in Boston. That makes sense. I mean, yeah, I don't think he, I don't think he went. Yeah, that'd be a hell of a commute. Yeah. Oh, so then maybe the walk from work to Cheers is when he thought of his one-liner. There you go. There you go, Mike. Okay. Well, there you go. Congratulations. Do you have a game today? I have two games. Two games today. So I had a game this ready. Is the, this is the dangerous oh. way. <laughs> Sorry, I jumped. I <laughs> this is the only reason Dave watches you. Know. I know. I'm going to start the show like this. You're probably listening to the car on the way here. Oh, I love go ahead, Chris. So I had a game the day you kicked me off the studio. I had a game ready to go, but we never got to it. So I have oh, that game. Oh, you want to bring that back? We have that game, or and, and we, we have another circle. Game. We can do like both. That. What's that? It's up to you. If you want to do both. All right. It's so we're going to do the game from when was that? May? June? It was the finals. So it was June. June. Okay, so we're bringing back the game from June 2022. Go ahead, Dave. So this is a, a classic game. It's uh, a game we played a few times. It's called Let Me Speak to Your Manager. It's where I read DEC's Yelp okay. reviews. Yes. Oh, I love yes. I forgot about that. So Play this is a best of three. I'm going to read three of these. It's probably your buddy now, but go ahead. Uh, I can imagine the me message you two sent each other. Oh, boy. They're, they're illuminating. Um, so uh, I guess it's going to be you versus Dave. If uh, It's been a while, but I'm going to read a Yelp review. You have to guess what business this is. Oh, this is how we did it? Okay, I thought it was... Okay, yeah. and these I, was all, I was confused. I was these thinking, are all national franchises. I, okay, I was thinking of this, was this something DEC did or was it was it real or not real? So, okay, so the game is Burger King or whatever. Right, but I would say, oh, I had a great burger at blank, and you, gotcha. you got it right. What was the one that we, like, lost our shit about? He was complaining about, like, a dog park or something like that. Oh, is that right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this is a business, a national business. A national... Who, 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 what's the winning score? Oh, uh, it's best two out of three. Two out of three. Okay, go ahead. So it's you Dave, you want to go first sure. on this one? Okay. Sure. Okay. This is a good starter gym. Blank caters to the person who has no gym membership. If you are just starting out or getting back into it, blank is a good pick. That the would be Planet Fitness. You don't even have to continue. That would be Planet You're Fitness. Absolutely right. right. How do you know that? Did you read it? Well, it's like a $10 a month thing. I thought it was gold. I don't know. Oh, no. That's no, it, it was. That's was. a fucking easy one. Yeah. Uh, you will get that treadmill if you want it, no matter what. Uh, <laughs> you spend a lot of time on the treadmill? If you are, oh, this is what I, he gets really deep into it. Uh -huh. This is quite long. Also, blank does not have, oh, Planet Fitness does not have barbells. The closest you are going to get to a barbell bench press is using a Smith machine. So he gets very into it. Very, wow. it's a little you are, bit of a different workout too. So I kind of see where he's going with that one. Is he just a big fat piece of shit? <laughs> is he a blob? I don't think he's huge, but he's. So I that, saw him. You he's might be enormous. thinking of MHB. So, no, thinking MHB's about? also fat, but I saw he's huge. <laughs> I this was the most recent review. This was back in November. So I actually added. I took one this out and added this one. This after you left. Okay. Yeah. So I, I wanted to read the most. So maybe he's gotten into fitness in the last. Oh, you think he's Jack now or something? He says if you uh, if you have no spotter, this works well. If you're a casual weightlifter, it's fine. Like he goes very into the weightlifting. Wow. Okay. So maybe I, he's like a big strong man now. I feel a lot of pressure now. Okay. Big Good job, Dave. Okay. Man. So this next one is uh is an airport and you have to guess which, oh, which airport all right, it is. Alright. Um <laughs> oh I'm sorry that was four stars out of five. This is three stars out of five. The airport gets three stars. <laughs> right. He's raving an, an entire airport. <laughs> yes. That's quite a that's hard to do. That's like having a bad experience at a at a uh Auntie Anne's, is that what it's called? Yeah. It's saying you place? don't like the Burlington Mall. Yes. No, oh, no, okay. he's doing, yeah, the entire mall. Okay, so, well, the whole, the whole airport. The, the first line kind of says it all. It's tough to get too excited about airports. That's true. The great ones limit the hassle and have passable food. Blank fears like the location itself. It's a bit confusing and your sense of direction escapes you, likely by design. I did not find the food selection inspiring and actually had a lousy food experience. Wow. I mean, I have to say, if you're going to the airport with high food expectations, mm. prepare to be disappointed. Yeah. I, the gates have places where you can cha charge your phone. That's but good. Could have more and locations more convenient. <sighs> See, I think this is going to be an under the radar. Like, it's not going to be Logan, Dave, right? That doesn't make any sense. No, he wouldn't say Logan. One of the best features about are the direct flights because it's Southwest Hub. This is an average mm. airport, and that puts it in the know. upper it's echelon. Southwest Hub in total, or is a Southwest Hub? South. It's a Southwest Hub. Okay. Um, I can't read one paragraph because it would give it away. I don't know the closest airport to him. Do you want me to? Oh, I don't know. It's my guess, right? Oh, right, right. right. This, is, this is a really I, hard oh, one. I don't know where he lives. Uh, this is not near him. Uh, okay, oh. I, don't, I don't know where he lives. Yeah. Um, Dallas, Fort Worth. I'll give you, uh, I'll read this one because we'll give it away. One of the most interesting things about blank are the limitless slot machines. 
You really know you are in blank as you Reno? can kill some time. Is it Vegas or Reno? It's Vegas. Oh. Yeah. Do you know the airport in Vegas? It, uh, uh, two names. I'll take you to one. I think one. they changed it. Harry Reid. It's, it's Harry Reid now. Yeah, yes, it yeah. was once McCarran. Yeah. Right, right, right. I didn't get that one right, though, Dave. So, I mean, yeah. we'll, we'll do the last one as a tiebreaker. Okay. okay. Uh, would you have got you in the guest that, though, right? No, no, no. I thought it would be local to him. To Where does he live? I think he's in Connecticut, so I was just oh, yeah. Bradley? I, I, but I was going to say Providence just in case. I, I think That's a southwest a, spot, yeah. I think, yeah. yeah. That's, that's a tough one. I, I would have guessed Baltimore. Um, okay, so southwest. here we go. Uh, this is a restaurant. Five stars out of five. Wow. Uh, I love blank. <laughs> I love when they say welcome to blank. It's one of my favorite places on the planet. Plus, I love the soda, machi the soda machines. Check it out yourself. The home wrecker is my favorite. I load it up with everything. The home wrecker. Try all the salsa for the chips. They are amazing. I go back and forth between blank and blank. Blank is really good. So, uh, so the machines self serve, or the, the, it's good like when you're ordering it. Like the, the waitress brings you a good tasting soda. Do we do we have a? I think mean, I'm idea gonna say thing? self serve. It's I would it, think it says so, check right? it out yourself. So it's self serve. It's a self serve place. With a restaurant where somebody says welcome to. And I was thinking to be more on the lines of like a fast food, but then I don't think you're getting the chips at the fast food. And salsa. And salsa, yeah. Try all the salsas. What's a Mex what's a chain Mexican? Adoba? Nope. Not Chipotle. It's not. He he goes back and forth between Chipotle, Chipotle, Chipotle and blank. Past, but Chipotle is fast food, right? Well, no, this is very comparable because he, he even says he goes back and forth oh, between what's the Chipotle place and Ryan blank. like shit. Uh You just said Kidoba, right? It's not that. Yeah, he likes a different one. It's another Mexican one. Uh, fucking goddamn it. It's a name. It's like a person's name. It is. I'll give it to you. Most. Most. Damn it. Most. Damn it. Most. See that goofy looking logo. I've never been in one. So, what, I haven't so when they say, when you walk in, they say welcome to Most? I, and he loves that. <laughs> I would like that. <laughs> really? You need to be reminded where you are? <laughs> yeah. It's not, I think that's something you reminded of. But it's like, oh, okay. Well, I'm welcome to you. That would have helped Steve with the round robin. Red Robin. Red Robin. That's true. Yeah. That's true. That's true. That's true. Are you a main wire uh, reader? I'm not. No. Yeah. I don't know if it fits my political. So I'm more moderate. Lots I think. of buzz yesterday. Lots of buzz. What well, did we have yesterday? Well, the the again? libs of TikTok retweeted it. Yeah. Oh, they, really? Daily Wire uh, All right, Steve. Pu published it with a link to him, not necessarily crediting him in a great way, but they linked Ooh. it. Yeah. You don't like I know you get that. serious about that. I get really angry about that. Okay. So we have another game. We do. Okay. We do. I mean, it's, you know, I'm here. We we'll have call, to do we'll it. We'll call Dave the winner of this one. Yeah, I Dave won that. Uh, the KMS or the Kirk Minahan Movie Hall of Fame. Oh, where, where are we at with this? We are at 1995. We are at 1995. So remember, every election year, I don't remember. you get the Veterans Committee. Scale, so you can, scale 1 to 10, how happy is Chris to be back right now? 40. Oh, no, this is great. You think he wants to sit there and talk to fucking Frank at KFC? Oh, I do. I, 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 I'm happy about that live stream. I've never weekend. seen this happen. Oh, I've never, never watched any of this content. But you think he's happy talking to Brandon Walker about Carl Weathers? I'm gonna guess <laughs> I absolutely am. Yeah, John fucking that was his uh, filmography. I, I'm, a, I'm a happy person. Go ahead. Um... Okay, so we are. Oh, we uh, you have to pick one movie a year. Every uh, every year has like a five year waiting period. So right. when we're in nineteen ninety five, we're actually talking about movies that happened in nineteen ninety uh, one. Right, right, ninety ninety one. So it sounds the it's the it's, um, it's, I'm sorry, it's uh, no, I'm, I said that wrong. I'm 90, sorry, ninety six. Yeah, we're in ninety five. So mm -hmm. you, there's a new movie, but you have five years to elect a movie. So for instance, ninety five is the Braveheart year. Correct. But Dances with Wolves is about to fall off. Right, good fellow. If we, I, I've already picked. You already picked them, yes, right? Yes. Um, and then every election year, you can pick a movie from any time period up until that year. Okay. So, so what am I doing? So I've never understood this game. Yes, you have. You have. That's <laughs> a lie. I have not understood this game. So we're not, So you get to pick one movie in 1995. I have to pick a movie from 1995. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, right. I can go back, but, but I don't know what's. I don't know what. So, I, but I don't know what's eligible from the years before. 91 through 95. Well, I, I'll, I'll help you. Okay, thanks. So. Uh, here are the new movies. How happy Dave is. So happy. <laughs> are you happy? <laughs> how happy the listeners right now? I'm happy. <laughs> Not happy. I'm happy how happy he is. I can like tell it. I can feel it. You know? Well, he's, like, he's what he is. Go yeah, ahead. Yeah. I am what I am. Yeah. All right. So here are the new movies that are now eligible for the Hall of Fame. Okay. Braveheart. You sure? Casino. Yep. Usual Suspects. Heat. Heat. Seven and Crimson Tide. Those are all 95 movies. Right. Yeah. Here's what's about to fall off. So if you don't pick them out, they won't be eligible until an oh, election right. year. Yeah. Dances with Wolves. Nope. Edward Scissorhands. Nope. Hunt for Red October. Nope. And you can also pick any movie from... Um, well, what if I pick, though? Like I'm saying, if I pick, say, Silence of the Lambs. You Unforgiven, have. I've picked that. Yes, you have. You pick Unforgiven, Silence of the Lambs, Goodfellas. Um, those are the most recent ones you've done. Okay. <sighs> All right. 
So how many how many are I picking overall right now? One. This is it just for the Hall of Fame. I'm just picking one movie today. Well, no, we're doing four five years. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm going to pick True Romance. Wow. All right. Okay. Okay. I didn't even have that one down. Okay. Great. Mm-hmm. Uh, now we're in 1996. I'm um, okay. Yep. I'm going to pick uh, the John Sayles movie Lone Star. Which came out that year. Wow. So you're skipping over Fargo, Peter yep. vs. Cyberpunk, yep. Jeremy Maguire, yep. Sleepers, Rock, yep. Yep. Ransom, Keeping. Okay. Uh, yeah, also, yeah, just fall yeah. off was. I read some blog that somebody said Sleepers is a better movie than like Goodfellas the other day. I did not say that. Fuck I did not say that. I said Sleepers is, is a better, better movie than The King of Comedy. I agree with that. Where the plot comes to the end, the priest saying like, "Yeah, I have a movie stub," and they're like, Pick "Oh, stubs. I always oh. keep my stubs." I'm like, "Oh, well, all right. No way to be able to get that. Well, everyone's innocent. Let's go." Like the guys who are friends with. And then let's all go have a party somewhere afterwards. Yeah. Like, what the fuck is going on here? Great movie about revenge. I love that movie. Uh, Terrible. Go ahead. 1997. Uh, movies that are now eligible. Uh, Confidential, Titanic, Boogie Nights, Good Will Hunting, Have I picked Pulp Fiction yet? Jackie Brown. You have not. I'll pick Pulp Fiction. Okay. A Few Good Men just fell off, by the way. Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross. Sure you mm-hmm. want to revise Listen, that? Listen, there's going to be... There's okay. going to be... Uh, uh, you know, there's going to be orphans. Oh, and we forgot. We were an election year. You forgot that. I You're did. the host, not me. No, I did Okay. What uh, year was that? 96. 96. That's fine. That's okay. okay. I'm good. I'll st- I-, I love Lone Star. It's okay. my favorite movie of the 90s. 98. New movies, Saving Private Ryan, Truman Show, Out of Sight, Something About Mary, Rounders, Big Lebowski, Rushmore, and then Fugitive, Schindler's List, and Jurassic Park all falling off. I'm taking The Fugitive. Okay. Yes. In 1999. Uh, new movies are this time, you know, that this is like the stacked year. Yes. Insider, Office Space, Sixth Sense, Green Mile, Magnolia, Bicentennial yep. Man. Oh, Bicentennial uh, Man was that year. And falling off is Speed, Quiz Show, and Nobody's Fool. You still have Braveheart out there, Casino, Fargo. I'll take Braveheart. Okay. There we go. There it is. Wasn't that fun? I'm sure everyone enjoyed that. No, I, I, what would you think, Dave? Um, <laughs> is that a game? No, I'm kidding. No. Yeah, it's never a game. It's no, an activity. It's, that's an that activity. Was, no, neither one. Yeah. Was, uh, no, the first one was a game because you were competing. True. That's true. Yeah, there yeah, there's a, there's a, yeah. yeah, that's true. And Dave gets to be the uh, the manager now. Because if you win, you of get what? that's the prize. Of what? Of uh, can I speak to the manager? Dave is now oh, the manager. You're the manager. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Mike manager. usually wins that game. Mike does very well in that game. Well, Mike's manager. probably read them seventy times. <laughs> so I didn't realize that DC is now like uh, uh, Lou Ferrigno or something. He's <laughs> apparently massive. very strong. He does a lot of weightlifting. Huh? Or maybe he's just a critic of it. He could be a critic of it. He seemed good. like he knew like. Well, I guess a critic would know that too. Yeah, very like a, uh, something a, a, like a creepy person would never just go into a gym and just inspect the weights and look at people working out. And stuff. No, it doesn't, no, it doesn't sound like something. Like a creepy somebody's person profile would at all. No. Uh, well, is there anything going on, Dave? I feel like we haven't really addressed it. Uh, not really, but I actually did, and I feel like because he's on the Mount Rushmore of Mita fans, you can just trust his instincts. But I did just get a file from Tim and Canton mm-hmm. about a phone call he just made. So oh. I think it's a two-parter. I think I think he was dropped on WEEI. So okay. I, think he, I think we have the original audio po- possibly, and then the audio from Tim as well. Okay. Makes sense? Yeah, sure. Go ahead, play the music. Who is it? That hey, Ken? Hey, guys. Yeah. Sorry. First time, a little bit nervous being on the air. Oh. Um, I may be out on the Red Sox with, with the lack of um, moves. Is he playing made. music on? I think Ken is playing in the background, maybe. Oh, that's, that's annoying. Cool. What is yeah. going on? Yeah. But you know what? The biggest move they didn't make. What happened there? So you hear that they dropped him. Okay, well, they kept pretending like he doesn't know what's happening. I don't think so. Move they didn't make. What happened there? I don't know. Lost him. Uh, Curtis said I have to take a call. Mike and Chelmsford real quick. Hi, Mike. Go ahead, play the music. Hey, hey guys. Sorry, first time. A little bit nervous being on the air. Uh, Who's uh, on the show? Though? Just Ken or? Uh, I think Ken, but he has, he has, uh, oh, it says Ken drops mutt call. So it must just be a producer. Oh, oh I think we're producer. getting Tim's version of it. Yeah, now. we're yes, getting yes, Tim's correct. version. Correct. Yes. correct. Yep. Hey, hey guys. Sorry, first time. A little bit nervous being on the air. Um, oh. I may be out on the Red Sox with, with the lack of um, moves they've made. But you know what? The biggest move they didn't make or wasn't made was that was that fraud Jerry Callahan not reaching out to my man Mutt <laughs> and wishing him the best. Oh wow. Uh, goodbye. Unbelievable. <laughs> so what's Unbelievable. your take on that? Jerry, on Jerry? Not I think I said in the show I'm not, I'm not surprised. Like yeah. who Jerry is. I don't like people like should he do it because it's the right thing to do probably, but I think I know by talking to Mutt he doesn't care. He's not surprised. Like they're, they're not friends. Like they're not friends. They haven't spoken in since the show ended. They haven't spoken since the show. Oh, wow. No, okay. no I mean, this was the pandemic, so they weren't really friendly anyway. I know, but like, just a quick, I don't know. No, they, they, they were never friends. They never, I don't think they, 
other when they did the show together, I, I imagine they must have occasionally spoken no, but on the like, phone. No, but when you're... Like I would think, I could see that disappearing if they didn't have a mutual friend, the both of them, basically. Like the fact that you're good friends with both of them, I would think that would have prompted Jerry to say, "Like fuck, well, let me just send the text." Like yeah, but he's just not friends with them. I don't know. Like it affected that show though. Like if you listen to that show at all, like which show? The Mutton and uh, oh, Callahan Jerry, show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it was, it was, so, it was like a weird. I guess because they never they weren't friendly. You could kind of feel that on air. Right. It's funny how that affects some. Like this show though, it doesn't affect me because it's your show. Like when you and Mike, I know aren't like you know chatty chatty we're on not there. friends no i mean i like him we're not friends right but like it doesn't maybe because it's he's the sidekick where that show in theory they should have been equals and it, it did affect that show well also, i'm also just a bigger talent like i don't mean that in a bad way but i just can do i can host it like we haven't talked in forever right. i can do this i can roll in here and meet and there could be some woman i've never met but i, I can just like, do a show like, i feel I, like jerry took that out I am. jerry took that out on mutt you could like hear it you could like hear the jerry disdain. was mad that show it's not mutt's fault no 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 definitely not that show was doomed i loomed over that show like i just did and i was an asshole about it on social media and like i i ruined that show in some ways and Jerry wanted me back and Mutt was uncomfortable and Jerry took advantage of that. That show had no chance ever. And taking, you're right. T- taking you out of it though. So go back to when it was Dennis and Callahan. Like that show worked because you could tell they were friendly. I mean, no, at least, I, I they, think, or maybe they but, were pulling the wool of my ass. But no, no, I, I think you're right. But I also think it's more of this. I think. I mean, Jerry looked at Dino as an equal. Yes. Correct. And I, don't, I think he looked at Mutt as who Mutt was on our show. The correct. stupid little, my stupid little brother who was great. Mutt was awesome on the show. He's great. But then Jerry was like, I don't know. This, this is... It's just fucking bullshit. I want Kirk back or yeah. I want some equal back. And you and could hear it. Totally. Yeah. I, I, completely. I, I mostly do it much because it would drive me nuts. But but yeah, I mean, completely. Mutt, you know, I, yeah. I'm, I, I, I hope it works out for Mutt. I think it's, I talked to him yesterday. It seems like he's got some good, got some, some good, good options going. Yeah. So you so. said you'd have him in here like whenever he wanted, but it didn't sound like you, you said you didn't want to kind of go back in time. Is it also a thing where like, Mutt, Mutt has a family, so he needs to have like a real job. Like yeah. he needs to have like a regular job. Like if there was some, I said to him, I was like, if you could put together something where I could go to Dave or Erica with it, where it's not just this, but like I'm going to do some horse racing thing or some Massachusetts gambling thing or this and that, I would definitely bring that to them. If, mm-hmm. if, if he needed this to be part of the show to be a component for that, two seconds. But I, I also don't think he wants to do that. Like he kind of wants to go try something else. I mean, I have to imagine with like what in gambling in the gambling. I was gonna say with with gambling being legal in Massachusetts soon, like I have to imagine there's gonna be opportunities for him. I'm guessing. I think so. I think so. I I, I think he feels pretty confident. Is Mutt that. in a tough spot where like basically everybody wants Mutt to come in here, right, and sit there for a show, right? Yep. Do you think he won't do it because he might have opportunities with other gambling companies? And that no, 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 no. I think he would, I think he'll I think he'll do it. Okay. I think he'll do it. No, I still have. He's gonna come in here uh, next year. Okay. For sure. All right. Just make it. Yeah. Sure. Because that's yeah, the type yeah. of thing, right, that would piss you off. That's almost like Rico-ish. No, 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 say. no, 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 it wouldn't piss me off. No? Okay. No, because, no, but A, he wouldn't do that. And B, he doesn't have a job. Yeah, oh, that's true. Like, yep. he's trying to get a job. He's kids. He's trying to have a job. Like, I, yeah. you know, I don't, no, the thing that pissed me off way, almost as much as the constant thing about Rico is when Rico said to me on the phone, Terrence said to me on the phone, like, I probably can't do that anymore because I don't want Odyssey to be upset. Yeah, I was right. like, <laughs> Yep. That, to your point earlier, I was like, okay, if it's going to be like that, that's when it flipped. fuck you. Like, mm-hmm. I just get the fuck away from me. Did you ever... That was before I knew about the cons thing. Obviously, the $100,000 thing was ridiculous and, and just... You think that, was, think that was ridiculous? A free once a week, that? once a week, and then... And I was, plus expenses. Transportation, yes. Yeah, yeah so that was, obviously, uh, that was obviously stupid. But uh, were you ever considering having him be a regular no. Friday person and, and make it kind of work out on some I didn't think of, I didn't. I liked Rico when he called in. I didn't think he was great. When we did a show in New York, I did not think it was great. And he didn't say anything on the show with me and Dave. Like, I just didn't, I don't think he's great at that. It's tough with you and Dave, though. I mean, that's a tough Totally, spot. completely. But I did a show with him, just me and him, basically, in New York. Jeff came in for a little bit. Mm-hmm. I did not think it was great. I think Rico's good in doses, like, as a caller. And, and I think he likes the stuff I don't like in, like, a long-form show. It's funny, because I think, like, new Rico, if this is really new Rico, is actually better for the show, because he's more honest. I feel when he's a character, it's not going to work, because your whole show, in theory, is about... Yeah, it's not going to happen. It's just not. It's yeah. just no chance. That, that, that I can tell you is not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Yeah. No, I, again, I wish him well. Yeah. What else? Um, would you like to hear a song from Jerry's Uncle <clears throat> by any chance? Just to round out the year? I guess. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to, but yeah. let's play it. All right. Merry Christmas to the men of arts. It's another Christmas song from Jerry's Uncle. It's amazing how much I hate, how much I, how much I hate parody songs now. <laughs> oh, I thought you said you wanted to... Oh, you see, no. you, you didn't want him back. Yeah, I've right. just That's done right. such a one. I just don't, when I hear them now, I'm like, ugh, we've done mm. them. Mm. Like, my natural reaction now is, and I know you feel, I think you feel the same way. 
I do, but I, feel, I also feel really bad for the people that like it and put the effort in to do it. I'm appreciative. Oh, totally. I'm appreciative completely. Oh, completely. It. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. But I also fault. start to cringe. Yes. It's yeah, yeah. Like it had a peak, and then it, then it didn't. I don't know. But go ahead. I, I'm, I'm, I'm giving the song a real chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite a ringing endorsement. Yeah, well, maybe it'll be good. From Jerry's uncle, Callahan. No one's listening. E E O E is still existing. Is Mega with five? I prefer suicide. <laughs> That's a good yeah, start. Fox by W E E I. This is a remake, yeah. is it not? Yeah. Is Christopher a- Clemmer <laughs> is now a big dick. Terry Bosco, the one who licks it. It's Clemmer's big dream, giving Rico his cream. Getting fucked by W E E I. In the meadow, we all bukaki Alice. While Tom watches by without a sound Dave will say Do you want to know something? (laughs) The life is best in a W town Later on Merlone spreads his cheeks Christian Foria Now is something to eat Mutt gets a DWI (laughs) With no job in sight Getting fucked by W-E-I Getting fucked by W-E-I Mott and Jerry got fucked by W-E-I Merry Christmas, you fucking assholes! No, thank you, Jerry. That was pretty good. That was fine. That was nice. Yeah, that was fine. I just have no... I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, Steve's a liar guy, I think. Oh, yeah. That's how I think it comes down to all that. No, I do feel... Don't you kind of feel like the performance at the Wilbur and then just it's going away to go. is the right yeah, way to go. Yeah, going to walk yeah. out. Yeah. Oh, I'm, yeah. Oh, I'm, not saying, I'm just saying I also miss him. That's all. Yeah. Both can be true. Yeah, I also yeah. wonder, too, do, did, was there a mistake made having him come back for the second one? I don't think so. No. No. I think that's Chris was there. People, I see people wanted, wanted to hear it, I think. Yeah. Oh, I was... Yeah. 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 I, 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 yeah. The reaction he got was really, yeah. really big. No, I don't, I don't There's no exit for in for Maine. We have to revisit that again. They were in... Originally, but we said we'd pick it back up because remember there was a couple hiccups. And yeah, but, uh, but assuming that, but they're still. We were still assuming still. we'd be able to figure it out. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Are you going to freak out and scream at me if I come to another live show? You're welcome to come to the show. Okay. Sure. Do you, you think part- that reaction was a little over the top, maybe? I do not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't. What do you, you, you want me to say? I think that was a normal reaction to have I mean, somebody. For me, it was. All right. Yeah, I was. It was okay. a big night. I was trying to do my thing. I didn't. I didn't realize. I, I the last thing I want to do is. is you didn't realize it was a big night for me. No, 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 no. That's what I mean. I knew it was a big night. For you. The last thing I would want to do was. I you knew I wasn't gonna like affect your show. Or, like you know, like, you know, I wasn't like I would never like try to hurt your show or anything, right? Yes. Oh, okay. sure. What else, Dave? <laughs> no, what else, Dave? Uh, nothing that you'd like. No. no what does that mean? Fun. Like what? What one I like? Uh, you want to talk about Oprah being uh, getting no. shit online? Do you no. want to talk about? Uh, not that that Tommy thing was worth talking about last night, but I don't know oh, if you I thought that. you didn't. What? That was really funny. It was funny, but what are we going to say about yeah, it? Yeah, Tommy for you, you mean? Uh, the Tommy smokes thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tommy What's Fielder. Up? Oh, I see what you're doing. What? What? I don't, I don't think it's exact. I don't think it's like that. I think it's different because you, you, you don't think it's like that. No, because I think it's no, I, I, I like I like I, Tommy's great. Yeah. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But I, I do think he's influenced by him. Oh, I'm sure. As, as Nathan Fielder was influenced by Sasha Baron. Like that's and but they're that's, all influenced by Andy Kaufman. Of course, but that's okay. No, I thought it was funny. I actually, I actually watched some of it. I thought it was pretty good. No. I mean, yeah, I guess. I retweeted it because yeah. I like him. I didn't watch it, but yeah. I, I didn't retweet it. Yeah, there's, there's I like There was some funny parts. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't know the other guy. What's his name? Ben Mintz. Ben Mintz. I don't think he, he supports the show. Actually, he does. Yeah, he like retweets a lot of stuff from the show. He does. Yeah, yeah. I've never met him. Yeah, he does. I don't know who that. I don't. I don't know who that is. He's in. He, yeah, he's. He's the guy who pussied out when what's face showed up, right? Uh, yes, Alex Stein. Yeah, he's yes. the one who gave him his. Yes, his, right. His, his he card. gave him his card. Yeah, right? Gave him the pass. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, I, Tommy's funny guy. I, I actually like Tommy. Tommy made me laugh the other night during the trivia <clears throat> um, when we called Carabas, and Carabas was like, "Yeah, I'm just walking to my apartment." Tommy was like, cool. Like, great, great story. <laughs> it's classic Carabas, yeah. yapping about nothing. Anyway, all right. Yeah. Well, maybe people want to talk to Chris Clummer, Dave. I That's what I figured. Yeah. All right, we'll put yeah. the number out there. Yeah. That's calls of the year. Did you expect this to be more confrontational or no? This is no. what you expected it to be. No, no I knew you'd, you'd kneel at the, at the, at the altar. Is that what I've done? Yes. Okay. What's that, Dave? The only like, story story I saw was like, did you see that NPR story about the reporter who was being paid? To like do all these uh, story, like political stories, like hatchet jobs on these politicians. You see I did this? see that. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. yeah, people are making a big deal out of it. Yeah, shit happens all the time. Sure does. Sure does. Yeah. 
shit happens. Bieber selling his catalog for two hundred million. Did he really? Twelve years into his career, <laughs> so the catalog is pretty good. Up until I imagine, up until now, is it? Yeah, two hundred million. Yep. Is, he, is, is that person? Whoever, I don't know if that's official. Do or they they own like what he does after, or just to this date? I'm guessing to this date. I guess to this date, I would assume. Does yeah. that sound? That doesn't sound like a lot of money. I don't understand. 12, only only twelve years. I don't understand what the va- I don't understand what the value is of this. I said this with Bruce. You pay five hundred million dollars for Bruce Springsteen. How are you getting your fucking money back? Well, I mean, well you, McCartney, you just, a, you just had a question about uh, the Spotify Christmas things. He had like three songs on that list. Like, okay, Bieber, make a okay. shit ton on. Yeah, but even before stream, remember McCartney told Michael Jackson the smartest thing you can do is buy the Beatles library, and then he did it and it pissed McCartney off because he outbid him in that. Yeah, that's what people bought records. But maybe, maybe I get this, that. That's what people bought. You like, can also sell the rights th- to the music. Sold, Throw was selling a million copies a month for a while. Like the, 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 that doesn't. I guess, but like. I mean, obviously, Beatles is different. Remember, Mad Men. The Beatles, had- the Beatles are different. The Beatles are different. I, I, I agree with you. McCartney's still the Holy Grail of. You know. Oh boy, you know, remember it was being really cold <laughs> of the. Was that McCartney? I think it was. was that McCartney cut? It was Ringo. Do we have mods? Oh, it was Ringo. Ringo. That's right, Ringo. Ringo. <laughs> it was, which is always John. What Lennon. was the context of that? Uh, uh, I was talking about uh, for uh, at a theater. I went and saw the Beatles documentary. Get back. Yeah. It's like six hours. No, no, it was only a one hour. It was the one there on the rooftop. Oh, the concert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right. That qualified as a movie. It did. It was okay. over 60 minutes. 63 oh, minutes. Right. That was one of the rules. <laughs> it's amazing how short you came up on that one. It's amazing. 102, 103, amazing. something like that. That's pretty good, right? You're not going to try again next year. No. In Manhattan. No. The home of That'd film. That would be easy. I almost say too easy. That's true. That's a good point. Uh, but I don't, I don't know the value of like 500, 700 million dollars. Yeah. I said, well, do you get it you're back right, by right. selling I mean, your rights like, and commercials yeah, and things like that? Do you get that like, back? Like how many commercials are you going to have like to make seven hundred million? Back? I mean, it's being sold to like hedge funds, right? Like, yeah, well, not, I, clearly there's something yeah. I don't understand. Yeah. I don't know, and I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, all right, they load up, load up. I mean, record companies make a lot of money. Like, you know what I mean? It must be something there. I don't, yeah, there's something I'm missing yeah. for sure. I just don't. I, I don't get it. Hello. Ho ho ho, Kirk! It's Saint Nicholas Cage. Oh, one second, Nicholas. And and I still I cannot believe that like you guys neither one of you guys defended me the uh 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 this fucking Celtics getting a fee for when concerts it was the craziest take of all time. No, it was just we don't know the answer and we don't deem it to be impossible. I, did. I hear I heard it. Did the Celtics get like an eight percent cut of when they no, don't I, own the place? I think Dave once again just sounded well, Mike like, too. What are you talking yeah. about? I, you just sounded dumb, but I think your point was might have been right. Where maybe they get a break on the rent if they run X amount of promos. That might happen. Like, hey, part of our rental agreement is this, but then you're also going to do this. Sure, for us. but if I'm buying a ticket to see you two at a place that the Celtics don't own, the Celtics are not getting any money for that. No, no, no. It would just be a, a stipulation of the a rental agreement. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, uh, yeah. All, all we were saying is that that's, we no, don't no, know that, if, that, that's not what you were. You were saying they get a fee. Yeah, it's not. That's, that's not. I don't believe that's what we said. We said we wouldn't that's definitely be, what you said. I believe we said we would not be shocked if there was some type of arrangement like that. If there okay, was some uh, type what's of up, Nichols? How are you? I can't I can't I can't I can't fucking deal with are this. Are you tired of him yet? Yes. Hello. Not you, Nick. I meant Colony. Yes. No, Colony's did a great job on the case. A- awesome job. A plus. There you go, Dave. He's been a bad he's been a bad he's Before you got here, he was in a great mood. You get here, he's in a sour mood. I can fire you if you want. Those are like awkward moments. Like I just Okay, you're doing a lousy job. I trust that it's all going well. That's all. Anyway. Hello. May I ask Chris a trivia question? Sure. Chris Clark. Absolutely. Okay. Jack Nicholas made his 44th and last U.S. Open appearance in 2000 at Pebble Beach. In which film did I appear with Taya Leone that same year, which was set during Christmas time? Is it The Weatherman? Nope. Family Man. Family Man. I saw it in the theaters too, fuck. That's right, Kirk. Thank you. Now, it's going as well as it doesn't, did it? Sure is. What's that? Dustin Johnson is a family man. He has two children with Paulina Gretzky. That's true. And he won the 2016 U.S. Open at Oakmont Country Club just outside of Pittsburgh, PA. Yeah. Can you name my 1994 Christmas crime comedy that was set in Pennsylvania? That's the uh, that's the one with uh, John Lovitz, right? Am I wrong, Nicholas? And, uh, and Dana, Carvey, Lovitz, right? Dana Carvey, right? Or no? Yeah, I just remember the name of it. Nicholas Cage. Oh, they were all robbers. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I can see the, uh, like the blockbuster. I can see the. Right. Oh my God, Nicholas. I think you got me. Snow globe on the poster. Yeah. What was it? Trapped in Paradise. Trapped oh, in Paradise. Fuck. Yes. Yeah. Yes, of course. These are, these are good questions. To all of you. Happy holidays to you. Happy holidays. That was great, Nick. 
Yeah, not bad. He's been a good caller. He came after I left. Nicholas Cage. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> how, supposed, how much was it? Yeah. How much was it? I did indeed. I, I, guess, yeah, I guess there is an I'm waiting for the next that. call. But I guess yeah. you're right. Both things are true. I think you're he's like, a good yeah, caller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't know that he appeared after you left. There's, but that's there's, true. There's, there's, true. The, <laughs> is the before Chris or after Chris? There's been plenty that's going on after, BC, too. BC, yeah. BC, right? Life goes on. You know, we hate it's true. Show. It's yeah. true. Hello. Ooh, the phone line's being sticky today. Is that right? Yeah, let's see. What do you mean, sticky? Like it's, I'm clicking them and they're not going on. Uh-oh. There we go. He's there. Hello. Hey. Hello. Hey, now that we uh, figured out about crybaby Terrence Mayrose, uh-huh. um, the fact that he had, he wouldn't fight in the do and rough and rowdy, is Clemma willing to step up and fight Terry and rough and rowdy for the Minifans? fans? I will never fight in rough and rowdy. I'm, Skinny, I'm a, I'll be a lousy fighter, and I don't want to get hit in the head. Yeah, but you would absolutely tool them up because Terry, from what I hear, is a big pussy. I'll it f- is strange that he had Jersey Jerry fight for him. I will say that. I'll fight him. Mm. Oh, that would be unbelievable. That would be don't incredible. Don't tease me. I'll fight him. You would not. Why not? You said before you don't want to fight Rough and Rowdy. You're like, I've, I'm made, good I've made two Rough and Rowdy challenges in my life. Both have been denied. Hank, Long- uh, Hank uh, Lockwood yep. and Mike Tyson. Hank said no? Yeah. Te- Terry's a typical t- telephone tough guy. I'm That's where he made I'm all the calls. I'm, 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 I'm not trying to create any drama. You here. would fight Rico and Rough and Rowdy. You're Ooh. making that declaration right now. I don't know who that is. You would fight Terrence and Rough yes, and Rowdy. I would. Really? Yeah, I'd fight him. That would be wild. Why wouldn't I do that? Because you don't want to get hit in the head. You're old like me. You don't I'm, not gonna get, I'm not going to get hit in the head. Wow. <laughs> I mean, I would do that in a second. Of course I would. That would be wild. Yeah. I would do it for my guy, Cons. I would do it for all the people at Barstool. I would do it for all the people out there. I would do it for all the people who were attacked by these trolls. I would do it for everyone. First round knockout. That's what's unbelievable. You would you. actually be the, like... What's that? That's what's unbelievable about you. You're doing it for everybody but yourself. Yeah. You would be the good guy in that fight. Well, I don't know about that. I think people there's, people would hate me as well, but that's I would a, fight... It's a great PR move. He wouldn't... You know what? He's too big of a pussy, though. He wouldn't accept it. No way. But if he's changed, maybe he, maybe he would. I don't know. But I'm, I am, I would absolutely do that. I wouldn't mind getting in like fighting shape either. Like I'm in a different shape now. I wouldn't mind getting in that shape, testing my body hmm. in a different way. I'm just like changing it a little bit. I mean, you're in fighting shape. Just changing it a little I'm bit. I'm in great shape. Yeah. I mean, I'm in the best, some best condition of my life. I did five and a half miles this morning. So I mean, sure. That, that'd be two seconds. That's a, that's that's an open challenge. If he if he wants to accept it, I, Kirk Minahan, would fight Terrence Mayrose at the next Rough and Rowdy. Wow. That would be wild. But I think Dave Portnoy and Dan Katz, who are too busy protecting him, like the priests that they are, would never allow that to happen to him. They absolutely would. I don't think so. Makes me wonder what, what else they're protecting. When they're, they're, you know, it makes me wonder, but time and place, whatever rough and raw they want to do it. The next rough ride is number 20. It's the 20th anniversary of Barstool. Okay, that would be Mr. Huge. Barstool, calm down over there. <laughs> I'm just saying, that would be wild. Wouldn't that be crazy? You wouldn't... It's, a guy, it's a guy, nobody shit on Barstool more than this That's guy. Not true. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> Nobody should have watched it. I had, uh, I had uh, Terry uh, find some old tweets I said, which, <laughs> yeah. nice. which he sent from a burner account, which was nice. Of course he did. Of course he did. I probably retweeted them, but still. Uh, <laughs> uh, nice to be surrounded by friends. Next rough. Yeah, sure. 20th. Why not? Mm. That's fine. It's a big matchup. It's a big weight advantage for him, I would say. Yeah. I would think. But right? you have to. Don't you have to get within a certain like 10 pound? It was out. Well, he's, gotta, what it he's is. got to lose the weight then. But yeah, anytime. <laughs> anytime. Sure. Hello. Hey, I got two questions for Chris. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. First question. What the hell is going on with Barstool Brewster? I don't know. What is that? Barstool's Brewster? Oh, Brewster's God. Barstool, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Brewster's Millions. <laughs> that was a great idea, was it not? No, it probably wasn't. Uh, it's better than Texas Poop Hall. I think, I think Texas Blue Hold'em has, has a future. I think yeah. that uh, I haven't. Uh, so Barstool's Brewster is dead. Not a great idea. I am going to stick with Texas Blue Hold'em. I, I, How quickly did you know that the Barstool Brewster was a loser idea? Like, oh, uh, like eight syllables in. <laughs> so that's like. Do you hear that cut again? Barstool's Brewster or Brewster's Ballster? Like, like, Brewster's Ballster. How can you get mad at me? Like, I do stupid shit all the time. Like, you just get so angry. Like, I'm this like nefarious guy. Like, I can't. Like, that's who I am. 
You can't get upset with me. I, well, I can. But, but why? Like, listen it's, to that guy. It's fine. Hello. Who's next? Uh, oh, he had another question. What was the other one? Oh, the other question. Why the fuck are you drinking Coca-Cola at 9 a.m.? He always dude? did. That. I always do. Because yeah. I need, it helps me wake up. I have, I'm not a morning person. Try I, coffee. Goodbye. No, I don't like coffee. I don't like hot drinks. I we've won't drink this, anything hot. We've, we've had this. I think we've yeah, we had have. this conversation. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and I was staying so close. I was. I stayed in Watertown. Oh, you um, did last night. Mm -hmm. um, Hampton Inn. It was very nice. So it, it, Arsenal Yards. It's all new over there. Oh, it's brand new, right? Yeah, very yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, the movie theater there. Really nice. Did, awesome. I, I was gonna. I got him too. Didn't late. you go there? I've been there a couple of times. There were you were. Didn't you go that night when you met us back there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there I went a few times. Uh, and. Uh, so I knew I didn't have a long commute. You just, that would wake me up. So I made yes. sure I got up extra early. I, I ran around my hotel like a maniac, my oh, room, yeah. you know, to wake up. There you go. Okay. Okay. I don't seem tired, right? No, you don't seem tired. All right. Are you on drugs or something? No, I just I want no. Those, I just wanted to make sure that I static vibes right there. Big I was tired, very actually. nervous. I would be tired because I don't do well in the mornings. So I was very Are you nervous. nervous or no. I was a little nervous coming in. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Hey, Kirk. Uh, curious how you would rate uh, Clemmer's performance today live. They still load um, up, David? Uh, I would rate Chris's performance today live? Yeah, like how, how do you think it's going so far? Do you hate him or like him more than Good. I think he's Good. I think he's done well. I did not want, the only thing I didn't want was sad dog. I didn't need that in my life. I didn't need puppy dog. Things happen. He moved, he's doing, he's a bar, so he's doing well. We can have some laughs, you know. That was important to me. So, no, I think he's, what do you think, caller? I think he's doing well. I think Clemmer actually hates you more than you hate him. Oh, is that right? That could be true. I don't hate. Uh, it's hard. It's supposed to be tremendous amount of jealousy, I uh, think, in my success. Jealousy of your success? I would think. No, what? No, no you're more talented than I know. That's not jealousy. I look at all of this as like this crazy, bizarre, like experience. I don't have like, je like almost like I won, like won the lottery. Right. Like, I don't look at it like I should have my own. Like, I, I don't, I don't look at it all like that. It's no, low, that's low weird. lottery pay. I was so. angry with you though for a while. Were you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. That affected me. I, I know it didn't, but I'm I'm caller said I but I, I never really hated you. No. No, it's I always it's okay. I was angry mm -hmm. and then I was like and then I was sad. sad. Like someone I admire a lot, like doesn't like me, that kind of sucks. What's wrong, Dave? That's <laughs> just funny. No, it was sad. I was, sad. I was sad. I was sad. I was sad. Real emotion. I'm being honest. It's raw. Like, it's raw. See, Dave's not capable of that no, stuff. He's, he's like literally incapable. Sorry, Dave. No, I will say this because I made a comment about this earlier. There's, it's not that there's a difference between show or whatever. I think we shit on people when they deserve to be shit on in some cases. We do, yeah. Or I do, or whatever. So we, if people show us a we. It's a co -host, yeah. If people plagiarize material, I like to call them assholes. We know you. Just do. You're very worked up on this TikTok guy. Yeah. I remember distinctly before a show one day, Chris and I having a conversation that I go back to in my brain a lot of times. It really? was a very valuable. Yes, it was a very valuable conversation to me. What? So I will not. It's tough to forget those things sometimes. About what? Uh, like some of the family stuff that was going on through at the time. You leaned on Clemmer for this? It wasn't leaned on. We just shooting the shit before the show. What was that said? Just, uh, to come it's just family stuff. It was just family him, stuff. What he was going through last year. No, but it was just natural conversation. And was he like your was, family. Was he your was very helpful in that spot. And I. That, it, your mother in law thing? Yep. And I go back to you were super helpful too, but this was this. Oh, I'm not looking for a good P. I'm glad yeah. Chris was helpful. Yeah, yeah, but he 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 offered some really good feedback. And I go back to it a lot. Did yeah. he mention the doll at all or no? He did not mention the doll. Okay. <laughs> I heard about this doll. Yeah. Dave showed it to me uh, yesterday. It's very lifelike. Well, that's good. Surprised. We should spare no expense. Yeah, I was surprised. That's, a, that's a, not one of those inflato. It's like a real. You know, I, yeah, well, secretion was. Poor Mike's going to hear that and just wish he was here for that moment. Right Mike there. loves that doll. He loves that doll. He's he very, yeah, he's giggling like a madman. Well, Chris was a huge part of the show. I never, yeah. I, even when we were mad, I never yeah. said, I never said any different. Yep. I said Chris did a great job on the show. He did. It's true. Absolutely. You think I'm jealous of you? That's very weird I'm to me. I'm kidding. Okay, Jesus. all right. All right, I didn't know it was a strange thing to say. You're doing so well for a while. Level of reaction is strange to it. Makes one wonder. Hello. <laughs> I can't win. Episode 26 is going to be fucking, I don't even know what sports movie will be by then. Jesus Man, Christ. Maybe, maybe we'll, we'll hit uncut gems. Is it, is it just it YouTube, is sports movie. Is it just you two talking? Or are you trying to get like other people involved in just it? Just us two talking. Yeah. Um, we might like. Unsubscribe. Yeah. No, so, what? what? It's what? an out. It's no, an out. Subscribe. Subscribe. It's like going to be part of, it's gonna be part of the LCB with umbrella. Wrestling, Am I going to be on that? Am I be a guest on that? Do you want to no? be on a guest? I do not. What's that? Like, at least with wrestling, like you can rely on AEW mm. or right. that Bring one wrestler M to get, the, yeah, or, to get that. Uh, uh, Roman Reigns or yes. something. I think you yeah. would want, I think you'd enjoy being on the show. I think you'd have fun. Oh, I'll, 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 have have I'll listen to it. I've never been asked to go on Jeff's podcast. That's weird, really? That's very, I've never quite understood that. I haven't either. And I'm there all the time. 
I know, but I know. I get it. You're right. You're right. Okay, Chris. I'm not, no, I'm just saying. I mean, see I, what I'm saying, like, Dave. See what I'm no, saying. No, I, I, right. I'm I, you Hold know, on. it's one of those things where like the first two words come out of my mouth. I'm like, oh, I shouldn't say, it. but now you got to say it because you started it. Jeff's a great guy. Hold, Hold on, on, buddy. What's going on, pal? Hey, Kirk, you hear me? I can hear you. I can hear something. Is there like a baby calf or something in the background? What's going on? No, that's. Uh, I'm actually in the parking lot of a store with my son, but oh. I, I had a question about caller from the other day okay I, i'm i'm kind of disturbed i don't have a dog in the fight but mm -hmm. they it was they were talking about christmas morning their fam their oh yes the in-law in, i remember this call yeah, yeah yeah i mean if you're gonna come at noon christmas morning i mean you've missed everything like the coffee the bagels the, the kids it's excitement. a long day Maybe though they come they come rolling in at eight o'clock in the seven o'clock in the morning that's a if, if they're staying remember these people are are going to be spending the entire day there. That's a long day. Yeah, I guess that's a good point. But maybe get him in early and maybe have an exit plan. I, I, I don't know. I don't think that was the uh, guy's that, point. That, that too, uh, no, the guy's point was like, I just want, I just want to spend it with my kids. I just want to open presents with my kids and my wife. I'm like, that's normal to me. Right? He doesn't like. Think maybe he doesn't like his in-laws or something. I don't know. No, I think that's a normal. I think you can like your in-laws and, and want to do that yeah. private. I understand. I think that. so. Yeah, I think there's a balance to it. It's a fair request. Yeah, yeah. it's nothing crazy. But you're right. If they're there in the morning and then stay all day, I think there's a way to handle it. Just be like, "Hey, why don't you guys come by at ten? We'll do Christmas with you guys." Correct. Yeah. Like this, this, Dude, or just come at like two and have, we have yeah, lunch. I don't whatever. know. Or dinner. It doesn't have to be that. I don't know. Uh, oh, fucking holidays. Didn't suck. seem like much of a problem, honestly. Oh, the holidays suck. Even yesterday, being out there and shopping and Ooh. traffic and oh, I hate it. Fucking hate it. Hello. You load up, Dave. Load up. Kirk. Yes. Kirk. It is your uh, black ombudsman calling. Oh, how are you? I think you know why I'm calling. Yes, yeah, yes. I'm doing all right. Good. I think you know why I'm calling. You had a one George Floyd. We did have George. Yesterday. Yeah, George Floyd called yesterday. Yes. As your ombudsman, I would like to let you know, terrific call. Terrific okay. call. You're welcome to call back anytime, George. I can't see what would go wrong there. May I pause uh, again? I, always, I may have mentioned this before. You are so articulate. I just want to say that you are really well spoken and articulate, really smart. You know, a lot has happened over these four hundred plus years, Kirk. Uh -huh. That whole reading writing thing. Yeah, that's brought true. A long way. Yeah, well, there um, you go. Couple que couple questions though, non uh, budsman related. Oh, well, okay. one budsman related. Uh, one case related, Kirk. Uh, have you been in discussions with anybody about bringing at least season one? to netflix i heard the i heard the book which is kind of you know, not really up the i don't know what percentage of the barstool audience is not reading, high i would say not but, high but uh but netflix or something streamable no i don't know like, i haven't heard anything like that no no nothing 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 the book has been main wired i would say the book the, i feel like the book's been run over by the main wire as of right now and the case season two like i'm in a rush to to, to do that it seems like you have it all done. It's in a, it's in tied up with a bow. Somebody at bar school should just run with it. They'll probably do that. Yeah, they're, 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 a, yeah, they've been uh, active on yeah, that. I, 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 I think so. Imagine. Yeah. I would imagine. Yeah. Next one. This one is one for you and uh, Christopher. Welcome back, Chris. Thank you. Um, is this caller new as well to your world? Or no? uh, yes. Oh, you're post clemmer. This. That's right. Okay. Good. Okay. You're post clemmer. Go ahead. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm not. I've I've been along for the ride. I'm Chris. Enjoyed your, your time with good while, while you were here. Thought Chris you, is used to talking to black guys all the time at the office. So for him, it's really not a, <laughs> not a big deal at all. It's just not a big deal. Unfortunately, I'm not watching uh, online. So I'm sure he looks very comfortable with this conversation and yeah. the direction it's going. But uh -huh. favorite black supporting actor of all time. That's, Kirk, great. That's, a great, and, that's a great question. Uh, what a terrific and, question. And, and I don't Chris, look at race, but. And I'd love to hear Dave, too. Cause oh, Dave, yeah, go ahead. You go Dave. first, Dave. Your favorite black supporting actor. Supporting actor. Um, can you give me some choices and I could... No. Me. No. Well, I'm just trying to think. I, I don't know. No. I don't know if, like, can I give you? I'll, I'll, give, I'll give you a name to kick things off. I was always a big fan of this guy. I don't think he ever got that... He almost got nominated a couple of years ago in that Spike Lee movie. Is Delroy Lindo. That's a good one. Who I really like. I was going to say Don uh, Cheadle. Excellent. Ooh. But almost too... Like, I, he's been nominated for Best Actor. He has been, but, but, I mean, right. yeah. but you're right. But you're right. He's uh, Hotel actor. Rwanda, I know he's yeah. not a supporting actor in that, but Excellent. that is such a great movie. And he carries that movie. He he should have done more, I think. I guess that's more of a. I'm a Charles S. Dutton guy. Um, great in that Sopranos episode, too. Tremendous in that Sopranos episode. 
you would know him, Dave, from Rudy. Have you seen the film Rudy? Yes, which one? He's is the it? guy at the end where he's he's the he's the guy he who gives, oh, that gift. Oh, yes. he gives yeah, Rudy yeah. the room Six there. Foot nothing, 100 yeah, nothing. hundred nothing. That's yeah. Charles. Also, uh, I'm a big star. Rock on Fox. On Fox, yes, he was. Um, I'm trying to think who else would be on that list. I should say John Amos. He's a friend of the show. That's right. <laughs> friend of the show, one of my favorites. Ah, I mean, won an Oscar, but I, I, I don't know if I'd call Louis Gossett necessarily a supporting actor. How about like, I know this is a, I, I think the most famous one probably is Samuel L. Jackson, right? Like, yeah, but he's become like a... What? Chris, Chris, Randy. what do you mean by the most famous one? Yeah, what does that mean? Mm. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, the most famous the, black the, supporting the, actor? The yes, yes. That, but he's almost yeah. like his own. Thanks for the call, uh, Black Ombudsman. Some good names, though. Yeah. Hmm. Dave contributed a lot to that. Yeah, who would you come up with, Dave? You, I know, I wouldn't be able to say, like, any white supporting actors. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an A-lister. Oh, that's true, yeah. What about the guy, um, oh, is he in a super movie? Is he an A-lister now? Anthony Mackie. Oh, that's movie. actually not a bad answer. Doesn't do much for me. He's been in a lot of movies. Yeah, he has. Yeah, yeah. I don't find him to be. Yeah. I don't find him to be a particularly arresting screen presence oh, myself. Great performance in Eight Mile. That's true. It's a good point. Hello, Kurt. This is your president, Donald J. Trump. Wow. Wow. Jeez, President Trump. How are you, Kurt? You know who my favorite black supporting actor is? It's Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> <laughs> Robert <Dunn's great> <laughs> <laughs> I figured he said, yeah. yeah. Kirk, I'm doing so good. I've been waiting to talk to my friend. You know who we call him? We call him Content Chris. Hello, Mr. President. Kirk. Mm -hmm. Shut the fuck up, Chris. <laughs> Kirk, he's got ideas. Ideas. Can't miss Chris. Kirk, he's doing a sports movie podcast. It's incredible, isn't it, sir? Last night, he's terrified. Bill Simmons is just going to shut down the ring. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. It is a remarkably original idea, Mr. President. I think we can all come to agree with that. Yes. Yes. It's incredible. He did the one thing nobody else could do. He made Cullinane look like a loyal person. <laughs> <laughs> we call him Climbing Chris. <laughs> Chris, you're just another rung on the ladder, Chris. Uh, I know it, sir. It hurts. It hurts. Chris, you know what I was disappointed in? It's really sad. I got a phone call from a good friend. They run a dog shelter, and they saw you on Barstool Idol. All yeah. those dogs you helped, they put them all down. Oh, no. I would, just, I would, oh, think, I would no. think they would. Yeah. Yes. yes. Mr. President. One one, oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. Uh, sir, I, I didn't mean to get in the way, sir. Go ahead. I apologize. <laughs> they killed the dogs. That's the point. Yeah, I got hey, dogs. We're doing so good. Yeah. <laughs> Are you, are you sure, sir? I mean, I see these polls where it appears like maybe Governor DeSantis is is leading you in some. I I, I mean, I don't feel that way, but Kirk, wrong to sanctimonious. When you've lost it, you lost it. You know, it's not good. <laughs> but you know, I wanted to call him Ronnie the Retard, but they wouldn't. Oh, no, I don't. I don't know. I you oh. could, I guess, sir. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I, that feels inappropriate. Kirk, I it's been a hard year, if I may. You know, my home was raided, and I'm oh, yeah. dropping at the polls and. But the worst part of the whole thing, Kirk, and, you know, I'm telling you this as a friend. Please yeah. don't share it. But Shank Fight Club <laughs> abandoned me on Twitter. And oh, my God. That, sir, that, sir, that is not. I've seen death. I've seen it all. Sir, you can't. I can't imagine you can. You're, you're going on still with this happening to you? Kirk, you put one foot in front of the other. You really do. That's all you can do. That's all Difficult. you can do. And did you, I mean, especially if you had dinner with him once, that would be a complete game changer. Yeah. I didn't just have dinner with him once, Kirk. We went out to dinner several times. Wow. <laughs> the problem is with Wow. The problem with that is not me. It's with Shank Fight Club. <laughs> <laughs> I understand, Mr. So Preston. good, Kirk. Oh, Kirk, I'm so sorry. I, I can't contribute to the show anymore. I have to see the Celtics on February 15th. Oh, I have to go. Totally Kind of wall bigly. Chris, you were a loser. Goodbye. Oh, no. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about Shank Fight Club. He's a good guy. Well, he was until he stabbed me in the back with his... Over the, the, the show situation. I guess, yeah. Don't you in some way admire building a kind of audience that would turn on you so quickly when you do something like that? Um, It's odd because you, you know, the whole show is like independent thought and then, but then there's a level where it's not. No, it's not. I don't find it to be <laughs> Well, you're way. independent. Correct. Yes, right. yes, <laughs> yes. That's a, well, I, there's plenty of dissenters, God knows. And they have a form. They do? On social media? Of course they oh, do. Oh, you you like, oh, Twitter, like, are you crazy? Yeah, I'd say it's 
pretty heavily leveled in your favor. Well, shouldn't it be? It's a yeah, show. I mean, it's your, is, right. Why would you? I mean, you I, I, I look at it like so. For a while, all kidding aside, you up, Dave? Mm-hmm. All right. For a while, I was I was upset, but then I'm thinking like, oh, it's kind of like. And you said this before about the show. Like, the, the show is almost like following a sports team. It is. And like, I got traded, right. and like, it's like, oh, I used to love this guy now, or tolerate this guy and now he's on a different team and now I, I hate him so I, that helped me kind of put it but like for the first couple of weeks I'm like what why is this happening I, I was upset but yeah you would have been yes and at the same time it's still not easy to do this but you have been riveted if it was somebody else like if you had never been in this world and somebody like you did this and went to barstool mm-hmm. you'd be listening to it every day being like oh fuck that guy I, I don't know I, I, I hope not um, but maybe yeah anyway all right I don't know, I, I don't know. From- it's, hard, it's hard to like take myself out of it that- that's a caller from before your time it is. President oh my Trump. God, President Trump's been a long time. Well, which I think we should just differentiate every single caller. That's okay, we can. figure it out. I'll try yeah. to help with that. You reached back out to, was it Shank what? Fight Club. No, Shank Fight Club. I haven't reached out to him. Oh, no, that's not true. I, did, I reached out to him, um, I don't know, a couple months ago. And I was like, hey, like. No response? No, no he responded. Oh. Hello. Hey, Kirk. It's a little people, big world guy. Pre, this is, again, predates you. It does. Yes. What a C- B- uh, did, BK. Did you see the C, climber. did you see the C, the, tr- the, the, you know, when you go to the info for next episode, you can read the description of it. Yeah. Did you see the description for next week? Yeah. You see this? Yeah. Uh-huh. What, what could that possibly be? Amy and Chris are talking about ex- expanding. Must be a pet, right? It has to be, no? It has to be, yes. Okay. A, a, probably another goldfish, a, a dog. I mean, they have just, their pond they have in the backyard, maybe some koi. I know I tell you this every pond. time. I cannot fast forward. I hate Tori. I cannot fast forward through those scenes enough. I cannot. I, the fucking Amy and Tori. Going shopping the other day made me so fucking mad. I can't even articulate it. She's actually the reason I called. Uh, Tori. Mrs. Little People Big World has forced me to watch the Harry and Meghan um, documentary, whatever. It's a good parallel. And I don't think there's two women. There's two women who've ruined families as much as Meghan and Tori Roloff. I would agree. What's her name? They've just broken up. Uh, Susan Smith oh, ruined God. their family just, less. Just... I would say. I, I happen to agree with you on that. And like, and, and Tori is so passive aggressive. Like at that dinner, at that lunch the other day, where she's like, you know, Zach and I worry about you. I'm like, oh God. It, and poor Amy's like a little dog. If somebody says that, she just wants that affection. It's mind games. I don't yeah, like it. I don't up. like this. I don't like what's happening on this show. And does Tori not realize like she keeps having kids? So like, there's going to be like growth, and you're going to complain about like. I've never seen someone complain about the kids that she keeps having. I know. She's, she's had, like, she's had kids. three kids. She's Unfortunately, she lost a child, but she's now has, th- has three, you know, children. And she's like, I don't understand. I can't sleep. I'm like, well, yeah, just, you have like three kids who are like five and under. Like, that's life. I, you spread them out. I don't get it. And, and then them complaining about only having a three bedroom house. It's like, well, maybe you shouldn't rush to move out of Oregon. Yeah. They, yeah. She sucks. Uh, her and Zach suck, suck. I fucking hate them. They're the worst. I do have a question for Clemmer, if I can. Oh, sure. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I'm Chris, not done that. Yeah. What would you think is more pathetic, your Barstool idol pitch or the Mets postseason? Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Well, I would say more pathetic is the Mets postseason because I still got a job out of it. So Mets are died. So, uh, But they're going to win the World Series next year? Probably, yeah. Oh, good. Probably will. Stacked. You always win the, I always say always win the World Series in December. I've always said that. That always team's good. Take. That's a good team. See what happens. Yeah. See yeah what happens. got two old guys, and they could break down, but. Yeah, the Scherzer are in. Uh, yeah, Verlander, uh, yeah. That's, the Verlander thing's not going to work out. Not going to work out. He's like 50. It's not going to happen. I'm going to say last year. He had the best year of his career. Yeah. Under two ERA. Yeah. Hello. Hey, you bald-headed fuck nugget. It's Wick Grosbeck. Jesus, Wick, what? Oh, no. First of all, Wick, I, sh- I, I you, before we get into this, Wick, I volunteer, like, I shave my head. You do understand that. Whoa, whoa, buddy. Shit. My ownership of the Celtics and my place at the TD Garden. Oh. Thinking I don't skim off the top. Sure, Are you out of your mind? I apologize. Look at that ghastly creature in front of you. Mm -hmm. He lost his fucking job to be in the presence of my TD Garden. What are we talking about? Like me, I think. You, oh, I'm all right. Oh, yes, you're right. You're, you're, that is true, Wick, I guess. We'd consider it a job. I suppose, waiting for a moment that just don't come, Clemmer. There you go, Wick. I, I, I like that, you. Wick. Yeah, go ahead. Hey, listen to me, skinhead. <laughs> Wait, that's, Wick, this is... <laughs> Bruce Springsteen. Hey! When Bruce Springsteen comes to the TD Garden, mm-hmm. I'm getting my fucking cut, and I'm making sure Kirk Skinhead Minahan is not 
on the list. That's reasonable. Bad, buddy. Bad. That's reasonable. Uh, hand up. Mm. Thank you for the call, Wick. That's pretty reasonable, I think. He could use that um, technology that was it, James Dolan has in New yeah. York. Where or the, Sam Kennedy. They said they were banning that guy for life who said the N-word to Adam Jones. Right. Yeah, but, but James Dolan actually did it, yeah, though. Like, he did. Oh, yeah, he's in. He's in. Yeah. <laughs> what is it, the facial recognition? Yeah, yeah. he's in. Jeez. I believe Rico Bosco blogged about that. I think he was talking about that on the Pick'em Show, no? Oh, yeah, he wrote that book. Yes, you're right. Yep, yep. Hello. Kirk, what's going on, man? How's it going? You know what's tough to write a blog is when you have a fucking broken jaw. That's what I would say. Wow. Actually, maybe it's not. I don't think it is. I don't think it would affect it. Maybe you could break his arm. It would not be pleasant, I wouldn't think. He has a hard time typing, too. He had pecs. Oh, is he really? Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. There you go. Hello. All right, so listen, I, I'm not, I, I have my first time calling, but I heard your trivia the other night and your niche category, which is best picture. Mm-hmm. By the way, Jeff D. Lowe, layup of a question. Got to be better on the niche category than that. Well, that was a pretty tough I best picture that. question. I mean, it's, uh, I don't know. Well, well, with Clemmer earlier, he mentioned something about he's doing a podcast regarding Rocky. Uh-huh. I was almost inspired to call you today. Okay. As I feel like the 1977 Best Picture is one of the greatest travesties of all time. Well, it should be all the President's Men should have won Best Picture that year. Okay, so that that's my second place. I'm a network man. Sure. I'm well, you a also you, man. Remember, you also have ta- you also have Taxi well, Driver. Don't forget. Taxi Driver. I mean, you like I said, Rocky's number four in this scenario. Right. Do you agree? I mean, like, because Rocky is no. I actually, do, I actually that. don't think. Uh, look, I don't want to step on anybody's toes here. I don't even want to talk about Rocky. I don't feel like anybody should for a while, for about nine months until this first episode comes yeah, out. A couple weeks, <laughs> yeah. it's fine. Um, I don't find Rocky particularly watchable now. Oh come on, myself. It's I don't think it's, I think it's, it's my favorite of those. Thank my, I, I think Rocky two is better. Oh. Rocky three. You have Rocky in your uh, Hall of Fame your movie. Hall well, of it Fame. has to be because it's it kicked off the whole. Like it's it's like a, a honorary thing. Rocky two is better. Rocky three is one of the greatest films ever made. You have that in there as well. The new updated Rocky four is a masterpiece. Uh, Creed is excellent. Creed two is excellent. But I would put I would still put Rocky like third or fourth in the franchise. I mean, Stallone I is Stallone is incredible in that movie. I mean, he's like the idea that uh, what's his face for network won over him is insane. Totally insane. That's just because he died. Peter Finch, right? That's it, right? Yeah. 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 Crazy. Yeah, he had, yeah, he but died. He died before. Yeah. All the President's Men, superior films. All the President's Men is a superior film to Rocky. That is not. Thank you for the call. Now, I'm not a big network fan. It's too satirical and too on the nose at times. Um, so I put I would put Rocky third there. You put Taxi Driver ahead of Rocky. I think Battle for Glory was the fifth best picture nomination. Al Ashby, one of the great forgotten That's directors right. of all time. I think you're, 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 you're all right. Yeah. Well, I know it's my niche category. Yeah. Hello. Hey, it's, uh, it's Michael Vick. Can I speak with the Clem dog? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, hello, probably, Michael. You guys are both animal guys. Yeah. It's well, one way to look at it. Oh, yeah. Hey, Clem dog. Hey, dude. Hey, I know that you used to fight with Carano, um, and then you were a fighter for Kirk. And hey, uh, Mr. Vick. Ma- Mr. Vick. Ma- Mr. Vick. Mr. Vick. May I ask a question before you go any further? Yeah. Are there any deals today on pizza? Are we getting any two for one specials or no? <laughs> it's actually about to be uh, go have one in about thirty minutes. <laughs> oh, you, did you ever deal with McFuss Daddy or no? No. You even know who this is? Yeah, I. Okay. Uh, yeah, Daddy I remember was in Mc... Magnolia. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, you. So, you, but you were. Oh. Were you here for the? Oh, you weren't here. For I wasn't the, here for the ride, the car ride, the car, the with Tim, Tim, Tim McCann and the car ride. You yeah. missed that. You yeah. missed that. McFuss Daddy's a legend. Okay. Let, yeah, I know. I know. He he stuck it. He he and he has the pizza shop. And, I'm gonna be. Yeah, I'm going I'm to the, who he is. McFussy, I'm going to the Masters this year. I oh, I might see you there. The um, I think I'm getting some tickets too. I might be able to get you one if you need it. Really? Yeah. 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 Seriously, if you need it. Yes. I, yeah. I could actually use two, but yeah, that would be good. I mean, I'm willing. I'm happy to pay. Okay, yeah. No, we got a lot of. Yeah, no, we got people around here that get them every year. So okay, yeah, four, if you, if you actually do, just let me know. What's that, Dave? Yeah, four would be nice. Well, no, okay, four. <laughs> Thank you, McFuss Daddy. Thanks for the call. Oh, legend. Legend. Great guy. Great guy. Would you go to the Masters with him? No. Okay. I would not. Look at you supporting uh, the live team over there. Who's that? You. How am I supporting the live team? I mean, you're going to go to the Masters. And if live, Chairman, live if Chairman Ridley says it, then that's fine. Nine eleven 11 family's going to boycott this show just because you went to the fucking Masters. What am I supposed to do? You know? What do you want me to have? What am I supposed to say about 9-11? Has it, you know, I, I'm, I, you know, I'm sorry it happened, but I, you know, it's a Masters. It is what it is. Yeah. Right. Hello. The Republicans, of course, made this a topic. Hey, Kirky. Yeah. Yes, hello. Kirky, I want you to look over at that skeletal-looking creep 
I'm next looking at to you. I'm looking at you. Are you looking at him? I'm okay. At I want you to imagine a world with me right now mm-hmm. well, I don't where know you it's are, June 2023. 2023. His terrible podcast has come out, and he's a big star. He's oh, doubled you up on Twitter followers. Wow. How do, you de- how do you deal with that talentless nothing like him? How do you deal with it? Well, I don't really particularly care if somebody has more Twitter followers than I do. It's, this is not something that I... I find to be a competition. I hope that Chris and Brandon's sports podcast as well. It's a company podcast. It helps me well, if they do well. What you're solving, you're the most talented radio personality. You're mm-hmm. better than Stern ever was. I agree with that. You're solving murders in yep. your part time. I don't think Chris would like Chris drive you I don't Chris would suggest I'm not the most talented person. I've said that. Yeah. I don't expect to eclipse Kirk anytime soon. I hope so. he died with mind if he, if he does in terms of followers or downloads. Or, I, don't, I don't worry about that. I mean, you know, Chris is doing his own thing. Well, not his own thing. He needs to, you know, latch on to Frank or Brandon. But I mean, you know, it's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's who he is. He's always, always Carano second. That banana. would be, you know, it's what it was. <laughs> is, that, is that what it was? Yes. All right. Look, he tried to do something by himself. That would be an acceptable reason to go to McLean Hospital. Looking over at that creep, yeah. knowing that you have all the talent in the world. Oh, but uh, Thank you for the call, but things are working out for him. I'm, uh, I'm not that worried about it. You know, if they fired me and, and gave Chris like a raise, you know, it might be an issue. But even then, what can I do? How, what, what, what am I supposed to do? I mean, they're talking about a sports movie every week. Yeah, Once different, a, week. a different one. Yeah, the same one might be a little... Yeah, and all different, different eras. That's, I mean, that's... Like the 20s? Yeah, I mean, Pride of the Yankees came out in the 40s, right? Uh, definitely came out after 1939. Sure, no, this podcast is a little piece of advice. Do oh. not do that movie. Pride of the Yankees? Why don't you keep it 90s and... What about later? 80s? Well, we we, did, do like we did, Rocky came out in 76. Um, yeah, I guess you could do that, I guess. Like, like they have to be a big movie if you're going to yeah. do it. I would do Chariots 90s. of Fire with you guys. I love that movie. Yeah, we'd probably, we'd probably have to bring you on for that one, too. Yeah, that's the only one I'd do. All right. I would do in Rocky 3. Okay. That's it. Might be a while we get to Rocky 3, but Chariot's Fire. That'd be awesome. Okay. Are you guys going to be there for it or no? Yeah, we'll be there. Okay, so I can't do it solo. You want to do it solo? I prefer to. Yeah. You don't want to do it with Bran and I? Wouldn't that be fun? I've never... Bran and I did a couple of ones on the uh, 80s one. We interviewed Tom Cruise, but we, right. we never... We chose not to release it. Right. Uh, I mean, you can't... You can't uh, are they load up, Dave? They're load up. All right. We have a few we, more minutes. What's that? Yeah, we had a 10-minute delay anyway. So. Okay. We don't live in a world where Top Gun Mavericks went Best Picture, right? We're not pretending like that's a great It's going to get nominated. Oh, for sure. But like, we don't think it's... Well, you're still doing the show at that point. That came uh, out, that it, came it, no, it, no it, I, I think I was right around when I left. Because I, yeah. I saw it in Utah. I mean, you're not one of these idiots who thinks it's a great film, right? It's very good. It's not it's great. It's fun. It's a fun... It's very, it's but a, this is a really bad movie year. Did you see Banshees yet? Yes. I didn't like it. I thought it was fine, but it became... Too silly. Completely agree. Like it Completely was just, agree. the first hour I was in, and then I mean it's out. I, I don't care. By the time the guy cuts his fucking hand off, I'm like, what? What? What are we doing? I, I, like, what com- is going on? I'm in lockstep. <clears throat> I thought Colin Farrell was great. Me too. Like I'm fine if he wins. Like whatever, that's fine. He was in a movie called After Yang. I only saw it because of the it theater. Very, yeah, a lot of and it was like great. That. And he, he good, was so good. In he it. had a great year. He did in the Batman. You know, he's yeah. Yeah, uh, he was the best part of Batman too. Yeah, but I agree. I don't think pe- like last year. Um, uh, well, you loved uh, Worst Person in the World. Movie. I haven't seen a movie as, as good as that. That year. was very good. Um, I loved Belfast. You didn't love it as much. No, but yeah. Um, um, Jesus Christ. The uh, Marley Matlin movie won Best Picture. The, the, oh, Coda. Coda. Like, whether you like that movie or not, it was, but like, people really got behind it. There's, there's no movie like that this year. Like, no. This year is not like that. The Fable, I haven't seen Fableman yet. Nope, I haven't either. But it hasn't, hasn't stuck. And obviously, I haven't seen Babylon yet. Right. And that, that seems like it's very divisive. I don't think Tar is going to win Best Picture. So, I mean, there's... And what else is there? Elvis, which a lot of people think is could win, which was a disaster. It was a mess. It was a fucking mess. Terrible. This has been a really bad movie year. This is when we're starting... Because the last year, I thought it was a pretty decent movie. We're starting to see the ramifications of the pandemic and the movie theater business in general. That We're starting to yeah. see that now this year. <clears throat> For sure. For sure. Go ahead, Dave. Hello. We'll take one or two more. Cookie. Yes, hello. I'm driving home to upstate New York from Nashville. Mm-hmm. What kind of driver are you on your road trips? Do you just put around in the right lane? Do you pedal to the metal in the last? Uh, I'll tell you, I'll, 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 I'll give you a day. I'll give you a road trip day for Kirk Minahan if you want. So let's say I wake up in, uh, 
let me think of a town that's driven through in America in the past, in the middle of America, Independence, Missouri, I, say. I just, I just, no, no, okay. This is not your biography. So I wake up uh, and I think I'm going to stop somewhere for a run during the day. I'm going to have a nice lunch. I always make sure I take a nice lunch on like a 10, 11 hour drive day because you got you to gotta get out of the car for a little bit, read. I'll go for a walk or two. I like to find a little small town in the library. But I like to go to the subway frequently for lunch or Chick-fil-A because you get the big cup that you can urinate in on the road as well. Mm. It's a must. It's a must on a long drive. Absolute must. And then let's be honest, you just chuck it out the window at some point. Definitely. You just do. That's a, that's a must. Yeah. All right, I and I've done that while driving in the left lane at like 90, 95 miles an hour. Mm. Balls. All so right, it's it's it. where your ball, thank you. thank you. It's where your balls can go into the cup. Oh, you get the whole unit inside. And then you, you jam that shaft in there. Yeah. Because you don't want to, you know, you don't want to miss. Yep. And it's like, you know, it's pretty clean, honestly. Yeah. Like all of all of the wipes are, uh, uh, what you call it, with me. So then I'm fine. I don't drink it or anything. Makes perfect. Put the top me. on. Yeah. Then you're done. Mm -hmm. It saves you from stopping on the highway. Probably saves you 46, 48 seconds. <laughs> I was gonna say three minutes. Hey, look, when you're driving 14, 15 hours, you know, seven, eight hundred miles a day. Like I said, I've stopped at these trucker stops for at breakfast. I f I feel like I can saddle right up to those guys because I'm I'm pretty much in their spot. Mm. Like, you guys jam your balls in the cup or what? And they're like, yep. I'm like, I'll have the special. Like, give me the special day, hon. I give her a little bill. I give her a little, uh, uh, little divine. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Very oh, yeah, sweetheart. Nice. Yeah. 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 Give me some toast there. That kind of thing. Gotcha. Yeah. Hello. Clemma, do yeah. you rank the 10 hottest women at my school? Oh. No. Go for it. Why not? That's what got uh, Stu in trouble. Yeah, but he's a pervert. Yeah. Like, you know. I can do that. Well, which women do you find attractive? I'm not doing that. Okay, which women do you find unattractive? How's that? I'm not doing that. You don't need any attractive women at the barstool? You they're, don't? Do you know? All you don't? Attractive do you in their own way. I did, I did not say that. You said no. I said I'm not going to so do find, that. I said I'm not going to do that. All right, fine. Who do you think is the ugliest? How's that? Just one. I, I know. I'm not going to do that. What was the guy who got fired? Who's the one? You said Clemmer said you called somebody there a cunt before the show? I did not say yeah, that. Who was that? I can't remember. Oh, no, no, no. this is, once again, this is when, this is, <laughs> this is what it? we yeah. do. I forget, I'm blanking on which one it was. <sighs> it wasn't Keeks. Was, maybe it was Keeks. Oh, it wasn't. That's yeah. brutal. 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 Mm. Brutal. Brutal. So you will not participate in any of that. So I don't, I, I, I saw them reference that on the Pick'em. What did Stu do? So Stu uh, sent, I think it was, a, even though it was on text, uh, he sent a list of the 10 hottest girls at Barstool. Uh -huh. Ranked in order. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Didn't, didn't go didn't very well. Didn't it make its way to Twitter too? I feel like it made I think it might have been a tweet. Yeah. But what was the dude? The who, HR guy. That's what I was just that lunatic. A couple yeah. uh, who I met. He was a weird guy. Um, uh, the guy was taking like pictures in people's like chairs and stuff too. This guy was like a legit madman. And yeah, yeah there's a lot of stuff that came out after he got fired too yes. where he was like really sketchy I around found all about it. I found out all about that while I was walking to our, where we did the trivia. People, somebody was telling me about that. Right? Yeah, yeah, he put, he ranked the nicest barstool employees in order, but all of the top ones were all like really attractive girls. <laughs> it's like, oh, all right. Like I, see, I see what you're doing. Uh, I forget the list now. What do you mean? Yeah, I know what you're trying to do. <laughs> and uh, it was like, oh, I see, I see, we see what you're doing here, you know? Yeah. And uh, and it came out later that I guess like if women were on like a different remote locations, he would like go to their hotel rooms and stuff. And, like what? knock on the, I think he'd like knock on the door and see if they wanted to hang out. This is all Jesus rumor Christ. and hearsay I heard around their office, but I guess he was really sketchy. And no one really like brought it, he's a relatively newer employee. So no one like connected the dots yet. Like everyone had their own personal Jesus story. Christ. I guess he was a real it's creep. A colony move. Hmm. Was he the one who knocked on my door when we were in West Virginia? Probably. Probably. Yeah. Well, we know it wasn't the night of the fight because you weren't there. But yeah, <laughs> God knows that. That was, Colony, that was God, planned out. Colony got out of there fight night. Well, the, the yeah, right. he, didn't, he didn't even stick around for the fight. Barstool had plenty of people there to film the fight and behind the scenes. Yes. Didn't go to the mini golf thing. Didn't Not stay for true. the fight. Wait, what mini golf thing? Well, we're clever missed the cut at. Oh, that was the right call though. We think, kind of, sort of. Right? Who was it? Me, you, Alex? No, not Alex. Me, you, Frank, Alex... and Kim. Content Kim. Kim, right. It was very nice. I mean, I, that's what I said. I never said she's not nice. I never said she's you not said, nice. You said she's like a horrible mother and all she's this She's a stuff. horrible mother. Alex I, told I, me everything. Do you see how Alex tweets? I mean, she was taught to tweet that way somehow. Breastfed until she was 22. I didn't know that. Wow. She would come home from college and Content Kim would be like, let's really? go. Really? Yeah. That never comes up around the office. It's called a titty time. Wow. She's a grown woman. That's crazy. That's Great. nice, Alice, to open up about titty yeah. time with you and everything. That's nice. True. Yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, Content Kim is 84 years old. She doesn't look it. I, I would say she's much younger. What do you mean by that? 
She mm. looks like she's much younger than 84. 84 year olds have a look. Meaning what? Do you hear that, David? 80, yeah, yeah. 80 year old. You don't think 80 year old people and 50 year old people look differently? I don't look at people like that. You don't look, you know, he never, you try to get someone's ages. And you this, can you give me an age? Does anyone in the company look like 80 years old or anything? No, very, no, very young company. So I'm like the oldest one. So like oftentimes I'll like, I'll look around the only person with gray hair in the entire four. It's not great. Yeah. It's, I'm, yeah I'm about the oldest freaking other than Stu probably at this point. Yeah, who's older than you? Stu. Yep. Uh, oh, I, large. Oh, right. Yeah. Large would be, I guess. Uh, that's about it. It's not Dave's much. younger than me. Frank's younger than you. Frank's younger than me. Um, Brandon's younger than you. Brandon's younger than me. That's true. There's not like no, old, it's true. like yeah. You you really are. Okay, Chris, true. calm down. Very okay. old. Do you think you'll give a eulogy at Frank's funeral, which will be weeks from now? I would say uh, it's, uh, his parents are both still kicking, so I think he uh, might go for a while. Him? Uh, uh, no, I don't think so. Okay, his but, parents should be in prison. No, well, Frank's story. awesome. Yeah, I love Frank. I think, I think Frank's going to last longer than you think. I hope so. I like Frank. I don't, but that's okay. One or two. I, I, just, <laughs> I don't dislike him, but he's just a... I, I don't, I don't want to see that transcript. But <laughs> I like him, but I don't. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> One or two more. Eight, five, hey, what's up? Hello. Yeah, so I was going to do a Yafik Koto bit, but... I got completely derailed. That's a good one. Whole, That's uh, a good pick. It's a good cross, one. Like this whole cross country thing, mm-hmm. um, you know, how you travel everything. So we got two things, one for Kirk, one for Chris. Mm-hmm. Um, Chris, stemming off the, the hottest chicks in the office and the ugliest bras in the office. That was weird Who are the top that. five hottest guys mm. in the office? So we'll start with that. Okay. Uh, you, can't do, you can't do that. I mean, everyone says Rudy is the hottest guy in the office. So you can you Why? feel comfortable Why? rating a guy? It feels really yeah. inappropriate. I, that's that's what everyone that. says. I don't know. Uh, I don't shouldn't know. be doing this. Is not you shouldn't be rating guys. guys. All right, I'll stop there. Rudy, number one. I'll Who's stop that? that. Uh, he is the producer of Anus. He um, he does stool scenes. He produces stool oh, scenes. I don't think I've met all that. Didn't Rudy go to Did Rudy go to the courthouse too? No. Oh, I'm I don't. I think Dana was there. Oh, Dana was there for that, right? Yeah, it wasn't Rudy. I don't think you met Dana Beers. I oh, only Bears. a couple times. Dana Bears. <laughs> only a couple of times. Lovely guy. Hello. Go ahead. Question for Chris. You said, yeah. I'm sorry. Or me. Yeah. Yeah. So that was my first one. And for for you, Kirk. So since you like doing all these small small towns across America, why don't you and because uh, you know I think the people are clamoring for it. You, Nick, and KB do a Rediscovery America in like some shithole town and state. Sure, I'll do that. I like those guys. They're great guys. Talented. Whatever they want me to do. Very talented. Whatever they want me to do, I'm happy to work with those guys. They tried to recruit me to their trivia team in the offseason, famously. Oh, really? So they did. They did throw your boy under the bus. I choose not to believe that. Oh, and Nick confirmed it. I choose not yes, to believe Yes, at the mini golf tournament. Has um, Feidelberg announced what team he's going to yet? I don't think so. Because I know that... Um, We're good with calls. Jeff's video, he was kind of teasing that Feidelberg was going to that team, right? Oh, is that right? Frank's no. team. I think Frank was in the picture behind, yeah. Was Frank out? I don't know. I think it was a joke. Oh, that's a I good team. He was just alluding to, I don't I know. And then the oh, picture. That's a good yeah. team, I yeah. think, right? Yeah. I don't know. I was, we were ranked, by the way, Jeff had us ranked eighth heading into this week. Absurd. Put up 15 points and beat oh. the defending champions in the three seed. I would think we have to be back in the top four next week. I would think so. I mean, I, I don't really understand how that happened, but I mean, we, we, we laid an egg for sure at the live show, but I don't, you know. We have a tremendous burden heading into the. Nobody has more pressure on the. Now you got Quake. Quake. I think Quake is like a genius. I think he's like a rocket scientist. He worked in NASA. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy. But the, 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 the title is squarely on my back heading to the post. Nobody is more circled, whether it's like A-Rod or Garnett or these guys who are chasing it, Mickelson. Got to win the title. Got to win, like, win a playoff game, but you got to win the title. I'm ready. I've always it. said, dude, like the Andre Dawson of doesn't. I'm the Louis Rivera. But Andre Dawson is not, I think you're more like Louis Polonia. But <laughs> I, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 Andre Dawson is, I'm, I'm higher than Andre Dawson. You're a Hall of Famer. I, Bullshit Hall of Famer. I'm talking like Manning, A Rod, Mickelson. Like well, they I, all won. You got to find someone who hasn't even won like a, a, a playoff. Time, but you haven't even won a playoff I'm round. I'm a two time MVP. Mike though. Trout, maybe. Dawson won a bullshit MVP. Like, I'm a two time. Well, Mike MVP. Trout, he's never won a playoff round. Never that's won a playoff good. game. That's, that's, that's you. You're him. Has he been in the playoffs? Once. Jeez. Got swept. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Josh Hamilton when he was on the team. Josh Hamilton. There you go. <clears throat> who could have used better help, I think, at some point in his life? No? Josh oh, absolutely. Hamilton. I guess, as we uh, all. A number of times. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp, Dave. Did you know that? I did know that. Uh, all right, so you go to BetterHelp.com right now. Our last BetterHelp read of the year. They've been with us all year. They've matched 3 million people with uh, professionally licensed and vetted therapists, 100% online, plus it's affordable. 
Uh, you fill the brief questionnaire to match the therapist. If things aren't clicking, you can easily switch to a new therapist anytime. It is that easy. No waiting rooms, no traffic, no endless searching for the right therapist. Learn more and save 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash Kirk10. B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash Kirk10. Again, you get matched with that therapist. You fill out that questionnaire. You're off to the races. First one doesn't work out. That's okay. You keep doing it. Then you find somebody you like and you feel comfortable talking to. You get a real rapport with. And then things open up. You will feel much better. It is a no-brainer move to kick off 2023 or even do it right now. If you're listening or watching this or listening later on, you can find it right away as opposed to traditional therapy, which takes forever. Betterhelp.com slash Kirk10. 10% off your first month. B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P.com slash Kirk10. We thank BetterHelp. We thank Milton's. We thank all our many sponsors this year. Dave, go ahead. List them all. Definitely. Uh, for the case specifically, would you like me to do that one? Yes, first? please go ahead. Uh, yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah. Sports podcasts love a, 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 a advertising, I'm sure. Mm. I, I don't know. We're under the LCB umbrella, so I think we'll just get the advertising rule. We'll uh, okay. there. So, so Jeff Delo produced uh, production then? No, uh, we used one of the producers for LCB, to, and then I'm using an editor on my end LCB. to help. LCB. Producer and an editor? Uh, for like to, to pull out the clips for socials and stuff. You have more work than we. You have more people on it than we have for this thing. No, the producer literally. This is his team. This is no. like Springsteen Obama's podcast. It's not true. We keep it tight over here. Not true. Huh? It's we keep it tight. Not over true. Over we at certainly all. do. We no. keep it. The simple. producer is that. someone that is like sits there for an hour and watches us push. You can press his play, and then the yeah. editor is on my end. He's an intern, so uh, we don't pay him. So uh, no. you have your own intern. I have it. A guy that I found who's going to help me. Ooh. Outside the bar still. Uh, he's barstool adjacent. Oh, okay. What's his story? He helps with the, like, allow me to be Frank stuff. So I got him. I found him that read. What he's, is that? he's a good kid. Uh, it's a show I do with Frank. Oh, That's the Mets cool. thing or whatever. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Gotcha. gotcha. I will make myself available when they want to do Legend of Bagger Vance. So somebody just tweeted. That's Chet's cool. Ooh, movie. that would be yes. good. It's a good point. Yeah. I didn't think of that. We'll have to cover that one time, Dave. Yes. Happy, happy to have you on. You gonna yeah. come to, you gonna come to New York and do the show with us? Sure. No, I'll be in New York in two seconds. Yeah, crazy. Love New York. Uh, all right, Chris. Well, nice to see you again. Hopefully, we'll see you in twenty twenty three. Absolutely. Thanks hard for having for you me on. back and forth. Um, uh, are you going to the Super Bowl or no? I haven't been asked. No. If they want me to go, I'll go. I would keep your head down if I were you. I wouldn't volunteer to go. How's that? Whatever they want. There you go. Um, so go find a sports podcast. So when will that be out? Second or third week of January. All right. So right. Whenever it's going to come out on Wednesdays. Wednesdays. That, that much I know. There you go. Go subscribe to that. Uh, Dave, anything else on your end? Uh, yeah, subscribe to the case. Look for a new episode. Mm, we don't know exactly yet if it's the first or second week, right? Yeah, we'll see what's going on. I mean, yeah. All of a sudden, we kind of have a shitload of stuff going on. Are thing, we going to get so. more than eight episodes? I don't know. Like, you know what I mean? We already have four, so we're going to get... I don't know. And I think the next season of the case will be in a different format, I would say. I've been thinking about like, it. Like, not a podcast? Maybe not. Hmm. Video? Could be. Could be. Could be door to door. I, mean, I could just tell. I could, I could put up. Is this say Telegram. I don't know what else there is. So go house to house. Maybe I don't know. Who knows? Uh, I don't know. I'm, think, I'm balancing. Uh, I wouldn't mind doing a couple seasons next year. So we'll see. I don't know that yet. We'll find out. I don't know. We're doing it for fucking free. So yeah. you know, dancing for these people. But whatever. <laughs> uh, all right. So Chris, thank you. Uh, great to have you back here. You're welcome here anytime. Thank you. I'm happy to. I, I'll be happy to make more trips. It's not that hard to get here. I understand. Really you live in New York. Um, <laughs> well, I'm just saying. I mean, you know, I don't. I don't uh, whatever, whatever you guys want. I'm always so happy. We're back here when Dave the third. I believe so. Is that a Tuesday? That's yes. the day. Tuesday. Right. Open, so. I mean, we may do. We may tape on the second. Who knows? I yeah. won't be case wise. But Mike will be here for that. I guess. Yes. Okay. Good. Do you feel like you're okay with Mike now? Yeah, I haven't. I, I feel like Mike had more hostility toward me than I had with him. Yeah. I was annoyed with Craig. Oh, yeah. I wasn't. I was a little bit like, kind of like just taken aback by Mike. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, how's the feedback going to be for Chris today here, do you think, Dave? I think positive. Yeah, yeah. people, yeah. yeah. yeah, Because I've been nice to him. Correct. Yeah, that's how it works. And as Chris said. <laughs> yes, truth it, it, it'll change yeah. quickly. What's that? As Chris said, they just listen to you. That's, that's all. That's all. Yeah, the yeah. sheep. They don't, I didn't brains. say that. I, I, it's exactly what you said. It's not exactly what I said. I said. I said it's funny how it sometimes turns out that way. I'm sure you've fallen into that trap before. I'm sure I have. Yeah. yeah I, mean, I just remember you I know viciously I going after Barstool during some of the stuff. Yeah, I mean, defending yeah, you. I mean, yes. Like vicious. I don't think it was that vicious. I don't think I'm that vicious of a person. And like uh, burner accounts with Eric and Ardini. No, nope, no. Nope. Yep. I, I don't have oh, any burner accounts. For I do sure, not do that. Burner no, nope. that's not that. true. That's, yep. not how, that's not what I do. I do stupid, goofy shit. I'm not malicious. Hmm. Okay. All right, fine. It's a pretty fair take. I guess so. Dave, anything else? That's all. We have a phone call. Okay, happy uh, whatever holidays to everybody. Yep. Thanks for uh, uh, supporting the show. We'll be back next year 
uh, with the case and with all this stuff. And then, like I said, Chris's podcast comes out at the beginning of uh, January. Go subscribe to that. Goodbye. <laughs>